Yeah, I would, of course. But ah. I would need to go to a strip club for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Hey, so here's that. another thing. You won't understand this, but what women have liked me since I was like a baby. Hey. What do you mean when my mom liked me when I was a baby? <laughs> That's a problem. It was only your mom. What do you mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, so I, I don't have a problem like getting a woman's attention. Um, and luckily for me, if I like what? a woman, why don't you, are, I'll be fine. Why don't you want to tell us your hit list? Hey, Penduk. Yeah? Hey, Ms. Nkalela, last week. <laughs> hey, what happened? Hey, the chillers were having me, dog. Hey! <laughs> what happened? You know, hey. not read comments. What happened? Dog, I was inundated <laughs> with emails, DMs. It was lit. Yeah, what do you have to say about it? <laughs> Batine. Yeah, firstly, Batine. Hey, man. Batine. Uh, Ghost Lady, we can't hear you. Why can't we hear you, Ghost Lady? We can't hear you. How? Uh, the sound guy's like, yeah, we can't hear you. Bro, you the sound guy. Like, your XLR is not the, connected. The sound guy's like, yeah, we can't hear you. Dude, you the sound guy. Like, <laughs> you the reason we can't hear her. Like, <laughs> Aya, we miss you, Aya. Where are you? <laughs> we miss What's you, Aya? Aya. Where are you? He's been delegating for a month straight. <laughs> That's right. He's just delegating. I just delegating. <laughs> Aya, you see what's going on, your people, man. Hey, that's Aya, the real sound man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the, the intern. He's yeah. head of sound. No, no. He's not even intern. He's like, I just head of sound. Yeah. I just delegates. He's head of sound. He's the sound engineer in charge. Death bike. I go see you. Can't hear you. <laughs> the, the sound guy's like, hey, hey, we can't hear you. And then it clicks. I mean, I'm the sound guy. <laughs> It's like getting to the office and the cleaning lady is like, it's dirty. <laughs> Why is it so dirty? Eh? <laughs> Ghost lady? One, two, three. Hey, hey, there you are. There you are. There you are. Okay, yeah. finally. Guess oh, what? Some guy. Spirit. <laughs> Hey, I'm saying, yeah, last week it was my turn, dog. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, but the, the chillers raised some valid points. I went back, watched the episode. I'm like, oh, fuck, this is bad. <laughs> so explain to me, what happened? Can I, I got drunk, dog. I got drunk, man. I got way too lit. Because they even called me in. So oh, now yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, yo, Caesar, it's time you, you give Mac G those pep talks of yours. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Because <laughs> you know what the thing is? I've got two younger sisters, right? Yeah. So I'm used to be the older brother. Yeah. So when they call me, they're like, yo, what's up? Then I called him after my show. And yeah. he was like, yo, yeah, I got drunk. I was like, what's happening? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I basically started slurring towards the end. I didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> so now I'm here just, just to regulate yeah. what goes on. No, but shout out to you, man. Like, if there's one guy in the industry, dog, that I really, really respect and he's got my heart. Because, you know, I don't have any industry friends. Mm -hmm. It's got to be Caesar, man. Like, Caesar calls me out. You know, he calls me if I'm fucking out. He'll give me a call. And or be like, you, well. know, you know what I mean? Yeah, or even doing yeah, well. Yeah, that's well. easier for you. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. And we're, the, we're in the trenches together at Highfeld. So he's my brother, man. Like, he's like an older brother I never had, man. So shout out to Caesar, guys. Oh. Shout out to Caesar, man. Thank you, thank you. Real to nigga, Caesar. real nigga. No, yeah. I'm actually, you know, I'm actually proud of Mac. I'm proud of all of you guys. Because uh, the last time I was here. <laughs> Well, first of all, it wasn't even here. <laughs> Hot time. Yeah, yeah. that is house. <laughs> but like, uh, so Mac had just been fired. Yeah, yeah. So he was starting this podcast, right? Aww. So he calls me, he's like, yo, please come on this thing. I was like, yeah, you might do it, I'll come through. I didn't even do interviews, you know? <laughs> Shame. And times are tough, you know? Like his house is about to get repoed. You are Aww. selling it. <laughs> I get there, there's no furniture. Yeah, the the, like, the, the couch, if you watch the episode, the couch we were on, I'm like, hey, they're about to take this now, yeah. so we gotta shoot now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys laughed. He was moving out, I think, the following Monday. We shot on Friday. He was moving out the following Monday. Yeah, you're still working with Len. Dog, there was one, one camera phone, an old iPhone that he put in front of us. He was doing his own sound at the time. So there was no ghost lady. So if you, if you listen to the episode, you can hear Len in the background, but the sound is so hollow. <laughs> So, and so now, now there's a plaque out there. You guys have a studio, obviously, number one podcast fact in checker. Africa. Yeah. There's a fact checker. Yeah, <laughs> Moon. 
<laughs> you know? So, yeah. by the way, before you mix any grandeur today, you must bring it through me. I'm measuring every touch you take. So <laughs> <laughs> man, I've got a spoon. spoon. <laughs> no, for real. The meals, the meals per hour, dog. So now this is the first hour of the show. It's fine. We're not gonna do anything more than that. No, but don't worry, chillers. Everything has been handled. <laughs> I gave myself a warning, so everything has been sorted. Do you want to apologize to the chillers? No, oh, you want to apologize. Oh, do you, yeah, do you want to apologize one. to the chillers? Because yeah. they, they've been waiting for the apology, the chillers. No, I apologize. I gave myself a warning, so everything is set- settled. A yeah. verbal or written. Hey, man. Hey, I mean, must man. know. But let's hear the apology. Wait, let's hear yeah, yeah, the apology. My brother says, you're not comfortable, so that's not an apology. Oh, what, do you want to go? what do you want me to they say? Don't you to look at the you camera and apologize. Okay, I'm sorry I let you guys down. <laughs> there you go. But you know what I realized? I realized there's some new chillers that are very sensitive, man. We've got some new chillers that are very sensitive. The old chillers get it. Yeah, so you know what it is. Um... Old or new chiller, chiller's a chiller. Mm. Mm. Ah. And uh, and every opinion is valid, right? So it's not a matter of... Because obviously you started the thing, but this is now everybody's thing. Yeah, it's bigger, it's bigger than yeah. you. Yeah, mm. so you've always got to acknowledge that. And when somebody's like, dude, I actually wanted to hear JJ. Mm. Yo, by the way, JJ's gotten chubby, eh? Hey, 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 you should have said that. You know, Yo, what it was, yeah, yeah, it, was, it was them shitting on him and that. You know, guys, this nigga picked up weight from the last <laughs> time he was here. Yeah. I know, I know. JJ, we used to work with JJ at MTV. Yeah. JJ was as scrawny as as Matt. <laughs> JJ was. Yeah. Uh, now he's looking like you. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Hey, yo, man, yo. that boy has been like this, though, so, hey. And also, things are worse. Shout out, JJ is my dude, too, though, by the way, so I can say he's about it. I'm not fat shaming. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, so, when he's bringing up a valid point, mm. and when you're busy talking over it, mm. guys are like, no, man, it's disrespectful to the guest. Yeah. It's disrespectful to the ghost lady. Yeah. It's disrespectful to your co-host. So I hear it, you know, I hear it. Yeah, but it's the first time it happened after 400 episodes. Come on, guys. Yeah, also, yeah. <laughs> Come on, First man. time. Fair first yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> but look on the upside I'm back here now yeah doc and, 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 and you hey, keep man. saying you know what he says he says his interview is the best ever that we've had mine is doc if you listen go back and I'm not even trying to toot my own horn but beep for real like if you go back Kets will tell you they got put on the podcast from that episode nah. I'm telling you dog no, no, I'm me. telling you Kets will tell you like yo that's when I that's when I was like okay that's when I dialed in and I locked in how? Because when you are in the building, you can't talk about pussy, dicks, nothing. Yeah, like it. because that's not what it's about. They can get that everywhere else. Yeah. You, can get, you can get that everywhere else, dog. Yeah. Last week, they said they want substance. <laughs> so we had to meet the quota. You know what I mean? I'm like the BCCSA of this thing. <laughs> oh, come on. But how are you, dog? How are you? Uh, since we last met, how are you? How are things, man? Yo, What's I'm going well. on? I'm well, thank you. Um... <coughs> Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. I'm glad you guys. I'm glad the cancellation didn't go through. Yeah, man. Nah, so never, bro. The so chillers, they can't cancel us. The Do you guys people. ever run into each other at Kaya? Hardly, unless like when there's an event or there's food involved. Yeah, <laughs> then like yeah. We'll ha- but generally, I don't just hang around Kaya, man. Who's uh, uh, who's I'm doing more pounds. numbers? Drive or breakfast? Who's doing more numbers? He's nah, been there for longer. Yet. And also, he's, they've been there for longer, bro. I mean, you know, Mac. Don't act like you don't know how long it takes for a radio show hey, to pick up. Why are you trying to cause beef now? Hey, <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, nah, man. It's sort of a beef. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know genuinely, but yeah. he's been there for for a while. So I'm I'm assuming he because he's been there for a minute. But I fucking hate Caesar, dog. Why? This wow. nigga's good looking. <laughs> he's rich. Yeah, super rich. Doesn't drink. Mm-hmm. Keeps his pool blue throughout the year. Yeah. Doesn't have kids. You don't have to drink either. Nah, dog. It's too late with the kids. Yeah, it's too late to the kids. Why don't you have you kids, bro? I've never, I've never understood that, bro. You're like 39 now. I want now. to have kids. Yeah, I'm and 39 rich. now. You can uh, afford many. I'm going to have kids when I get married. It's always hey, been hey. my plan. Oh, that's it. What if God's plan is that you don't get married, bro? Then I guess God's plan is that I don't have kids. Uh, Whoa. And then, who do you leave all your money for? Two. I've got sisters. I got a mom. I got a dad. I got nieces. Jeez, bro. So in your will right now, uh, your money is going to your hey, my man. sisters, my mom, and my dad. Mm. So you haven't found the one to settle down, bro? No, I have. Yeah? He's not married yet. Uh, He's posted his girl once or twice. Yeah. Oh, you posted the a very, very light skinned girl. Yeah, oh. when they were with Trevor Noah and them. Yeah, he wants that. Oh shit! How's Trevor, man? What, what did you f- think about him leaving uh, the Daily Show? <laughs> it actually came as a surprise. Um, I mean, I obviously can't tell you the full story, but you can. Why? Because it's his story to tell. True. true. You know, it's really it's his story to tell. Um, 
Yeah, it came as a surprise to all of us. But he's happy with the decision that he made. Mm. Is it a decision? Also, it's a decision he made. It's not a decision 100%. the channel made or no, 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 no. Comedy Central. They're Michael. busy renegotiating. Oh, they wanted yeah, to renegotiate. There uh, was new contracts and everything. Oh, shit, oh. man. When last did you speak to Scoop, bro? I actually haven't spoken to Scoop in a while. Oh, but um, the last time I saw him, we like hung out. He came to thingy, to Kaya. Um, do you remember the Yeezys? The Yeezys? Yeah. Uh, the the shoes. shoes. Okay. Oh, yeah. So when the first Yeezys came out, you remember that Nike came to drop off our Yeezys at, its, at our studio? It's somewhere online. If you check on YouTube, it's there, right? So yeah. I think like we're like, the first two guys in the country to get those. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously, I kept mine. I just don't lose much. His yeah. got stolen. Mm. And then the Yeezys 2 came out. And also, I kept mine. And I don't know what happened to his. So then he was like, yo, man, I lost my pair of Yeezys. And Scoop actually, to be quite honest, he likes sneakers more than I do. Yeah, yeah, he's a sneaker. So he was like, yo, man, please, can you just give me those if you don't mind? So I was like, yeah, you can have them. So, and I still had the box. So I gave him those. Um, and that's when you hung out. Like, it was at, at Kaya. So he came to pick him up. That's the last time I hung out with him. Man, I miss Scoop, man. We need Scoop back on the airwaves, man. He is. He's got a show now on TV. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, Nancy Magic, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's so he's in the country. Nancy Magic. Yeah, where do you oh, think he was? Wait. I thought, but, he, I thought he, like, he went uh, overseas and is traveling or doing some shit. No, he travels, obviously, but he lives here. Oh, fuck, we got to have him back, man. I yeah. love Scoop, bro. Scoop is amazing. Yeah. That's the episode that put me on. Scoop's episode. Actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, that, Scoop, that, that did better than yours, dog. Scoop Don't lie. Chili. Yo, I'm not saying man, my that episode did the best. I'm saying my episode put niggas on. Yeah. I was the genesis. I'm not saying, dog, it was way earlier. It yeah. was before you had all the, the subscribers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you did the best. Like, there's episodes now that you put out that do like a million, two million views. Yeah, yeah. We obviously didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. But for that time, yeah, because you were rolling around with like slicker in them, <laughs> I killed those numbers. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were rolling around with slicker. You know, I mean, that's my you dude. That's my dude. But you know, I killed those numbers. I talk. The real reason we had you here because you're very knowledgeable in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, state of the country. What do you think? Where we at? Mm. Oh man, we're in shambles. Yeah, we're in shambles, no doubt. The last time I was here, I spoke about Cyril Ramaphosa's tenure, and I told you I was disappointed thus far. And this was, what, three years ago? Man, he's done worse than I thought since then. Mm. Yeah, so uh, we're definitely in shambles. I know the country is very resilient, so I think we'll still make it out, hopefully. I just can't tell you what that looks like. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um, but I, I still believe there's no better place to live in the world oh yeah. than South Africa. 100%. What do you mean, bro? Why? I'm, Why? I know you're well-traveled, but I mean, the you roads know, are messed up. The crime is bad. Yeah, yeah. I get Things that. are horrible, man. Things of are course, bad. Of things course. are expensive. You know, 100%. But things, things are expensive don't work. Things, but things are expensive. But they work. Here, mm. nothing works. Yeah, so look, I'm not saying we've got no reason to complain as South Africans. Of course we do. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, in terms of standard of living... What you are able to afford in South Africa, just in terms of purchasing power parity, you wouldn't be able to match that anywhere else in the world. Oh, yeah, I heard someone was saying that teachers, like these people teaching in, in, in China, yeah. they're earning like 50K in rands, right? But yeah. that's obviously 20 whatever thousand in that uh, currency. Yeah. But they can't afford what a 50,000 rand salary can afford in SA. Yeah. Oh. And that's just on a financial aspect. Like there's so much more that comes into, we'll call it utility. So your overall happiness and satisfaction with life, right? So if you speak to people in China, the democracy that you enjoy and you take for granted, I just spoke about Cyril now. I'm not going to get arrested. Mm. If I try that in China, I'm going to Mao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not Chairman Mao. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, they, and, and it doesn't matter how rich you are, like money doesn't insulate you from consequences over there. Mm. You know, Jack Ma... You saw what happened to him over the last year and a half. Hmm. And that's really because you're speaking out against the government. Crazy. Who, who's Jack Ma? Alibaba guy. Yeah. The guy who found Alibaba. Okay. One of the richest guys in, in, in thingy. So in what China. was he doing? He was speaking out against the government. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they gave him the Kanye West treatment. Jeez. Oh, yeah, man. You got strong views about Kanye West. What's your thought about that? Yeah, separate, though, what he said about your friend Trevor Noah. Cause no, it, man. It could get <laughs> very... Because I saw you saying, fuck Kanye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> it's becoming <laughs> subjective. You know, uh, what you know Kanye say? It's are becoming are biased now. Trevor's not even... He's not even yeah, American. He's not even American. You know what the thing is? So here's the thing. He's, he's not, not black or most something guys, like that. He's not even like, black. Most yeah, guys don't go through... They don't go through my entire timeline, right? 
So my views are not based on what you say about my friend. I don't care about that. Yeah. Dude, people say things about you all the time. Yeah. I can't now base my views on that. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, views yeah. are based on Kanye as a whole. And I'm talking Kanye since I started following him. So from like 2003, 2004, you know. Um, the Kanye I used to love was the wholesome family guy that was raised by his mom. So if you listen to Kanye's early music, yeah. it was very much rooted in family values, mm -hmm. the church. Uh, even if he swore, he wouldn't really like swear as egregiously as he does now. You know, there's like a verse, um, let me down, featuring Jay-Z. What, what, 40 acre, the acres No, stuff. not that one. There's a part where it's like, so I promised to Miss Delaney I'm going to marry your daughter. daughter you yes. know, I got to thank her for the way that she was brought Ooh. up. You know? So, yeah. yeah. So somebody who can say that, just like to thank the father of the girl that he's dating at the time, that's how he was raised because his mom was about that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've always got the feeling that after Kanye lost his mom, yeah. There he goes again. Phone's on and everything. Hey, <laughs> he he does not put it on he's silent. Gonna, he's gonna he start, switches it off. He's going to start speaking to his friends Switch now. Switch it off. Yo, yo, are you bored by this conversation? I'm bored by this conversation. I'm bored, man. This yeah, guy told him about daughters and <laughs> Kanye. Yeah, I'm know. bored. Yeah. You're not bored. So, no, I'm not. Are you with us? I'm with you. <laughs> are you here? You're with us. <laughs> you know. No, but on a serious note. So anyway, who, any person who can thank the father of the woman that yeah. is dating at the time, yeah. it shows he was raised well. You know? Of course. Yeah. Ubuntu. Yeah. Mm. Then, after he lost his mom, yeah. he did a song. He obviously brought out 808s and Heartbreaks. Mm -hmm. And over there, there was a song, Pinocchio Story. And you're speaking about it, so you want to be a real boy. He was actually performing. 808 and Heartbreaks, though, was after the breakup. The mom hadn't passed away, I think. No, the mom passed away after he dropped it and he was performing. Mm. Oh. So that's why if you listen to Pinocchio's story, he was literally he was just performing, and his mom I think had passed away the night prior. Mm. That was the beginning. Oh yeah, because it's a live performance. That, song. that was the beginning oh. of the change for Kanye. Then the demons started eating him up, and it's a combination of a lot of things, right? It's him making a lot of money because money will expose you to things in life that maybe you were previously exposed to. Mm -hmm. But Money exposes also, you to evil. Yeah. Mm. It's also the lack of guidance because his mom really was his barometer and she used to guide him a lot. If you watch his, his documentary. The documentary, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. His, hey, and she used to that. affirm him too because Kanye is obviously, he's special. Mm. By that I mean he's talented, but he's also not fully right in the head. Mm. Right? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, and so he, he needs, I think he's even autistic. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I can't diagnose him. But for me, for whenever, whenever I see him, He's almost like a savant. The way he's autistic so talented. savant, yeah. yeah. Autistic yeah. savant, yeah. Wow. That's, autistic that, that, savant, me, not the other one. Yeah. Oh, the other and one. So, it's um, the same thing, but yeah. somehow. And, and his mom knew this, you know? So his mom would actually literally feed him material to read. She'd tell him things that he needed to know about black consciousness. Same thing with Tupac, you know? Mm. And Hence, uh, we saw him wearing the Matiba t shirt exactly. when he was a kid. Mm. Exactly. And his mom was like teaching in China. So she, she exposed him to some of the worldly things. Do you know why Kanye is named Kanye? Mm -mm. Because his mom found out that Kanye in Swahili means once in a lifetime. Oh. Right? And she was like, You are one of a kind. So she named him Kanye. Yeah. Oh. Um, and funny enough, Kanye, or Kanye is also, also once mm. uh, in Isizulu. You know, mm -hmm. but Swahili and Mrs. Uda are very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. so all of those things. And now he's changed his name to Ye. He says, no, that's a slave name. Uh, oh. Basically, all his mom's teachings went out the window. Got introduced into drugs, started doing cocaine. And for somebody who's Can like, you oh, cocaine? Yeah, guys. Oh. Hey. Oh. Guys, do you not listen to the guy's music? No, okay, hit us. Which, which line, listen is, to, listen which to line to is referring to? <laughs> which, <I stopped>. line? <laughs> which line? Which oh, <laughs> line? Which line? Which line? Which line? In his own July, music, the guy speaks July. about doing cocaine. No way. Yes. Which lines now? Listen to Watch the Throne. Listen to G um, Jesus. He literally speaks about that. Black skin hair, he speaks about doing cocaine. Come on. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Damn. And so oh, these are all the things Kanye. that already if you bipolar... And then you start like messing with your chemical Im uh, uh, Imbalance. imbalances. It makes it even worse. It exacerbates it. And yeah. that's why for me, in my opinion anyway, it seemed like his episodes have just gotten worse and worse and worse. Mm. But also, I believe his mom used to hold him accountable and she used to ensure that he took his medication, right? Mm. Because he speaks about how when he was younger, uh, the school that he went to said he had attention deficit disorder. And so they were like, yo, we can't teach you. So his mom was like, no, don't worry, I'll teach him, you know? 
Um, and I don't know what she used to give him, but it used to keep him subdued at the right level. Then you move on. After 808s and heartbreaks, Amber Rose, right? Mm. Literally holding a bottle of grandeur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, but Hennessy at the thing. Yeah, yeah. He was Taylor holding Swift, Hennessy yeah, yeah, the at, at, at the MTV Awards. Yeah. Taylor Swift incident. Mm. And he always used to act up, for example, at awards. I remember <coughs> at the 2007 EMAs. You were there, no? I was there, right? Mm. Justice versus Simeon. Won, um, they won the award for best video. Mm. And he had just done Touch the Sky. Oh. He jumped on stage. He's like, yo, I'm sorry. I don't know you guys. I've never seen your video. But this video cost a million dollars, fam. I had Pamela Anderson up in this bitch. Oh, touch you know, I had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for Touch the Sky, because yeah, he felt like yeah. he should have won. Yes. So he was always that guy who, like, you know, he did that at awards. And I think he realized it got him attention. Mm. And uh, the first time he won his Grammy, he got on stage and he's like, a lot of people were asking what was going to happen if I didn't win. Mm. I guess we'll never know. Hmm. Because he won, you know. Yeah, yeah. So he was playing along with that whole thing, and then, then it just spiraled, man. Mm. Then Jesus, Jesus was going to be an amazing album, but when he started working on it, he was running out of time. He couldn't meet deadlines. That's why he had to call Rick Rubin to come and help him finish the album. Mm -hmm. So if you listen to Blood on the Leaves, right? Blood on the Leaves was supposed to be the first track on that album, mm. and if that had been the first track, Justin J, because of sequencing alone, it would have been a better album, in my opinion. Mm. You know. But he started off with like, it's just, yeah, man, it's... Bro, why are you so that? invested in, in, in Kanye, bro? It's not just Kanye. I can I tell you this about almost every musician. Oh, yeah, because you're a music lover. Yeah, yeah. And he consumes a lot of stuff. But mm. he says he was misdiagnosed so that they can pump him with drugs yeah. to keep him subdued and control him. That's what he's saying. And who are we to diagnose him? Because we've never seen the diagnosis. We Yeah, 100%. We can't diagnose him. We can only go with what we've seen. Right, and it's not normal. And for it's, me, it's I can thing. tell you that Kanye's behavior is erratic. At the very least, he will just say it's erratic, right? Mm. Um, maybe he's not bipolar, okay? But this is not normal this, behavior. Yeah, yeah. It's for, not me, normal. for me, for yeah, for me, I respect him, dog. He's the last, uh, the last person I saw like this speaking yeah. about real social issues yeah. that black people are facing in America and whatever and all over the world was Tupac. Like you got your Jay Z's just chilling in there, fucking million not saying shit you know but they have the power he's the only one who's been able to risk it all just for the purpose of you know um uh, spearheading and uh enlightening educating black people putting his like neck he's out there, yeah, yeah putting his neck out yeah, there so, so, so the no one else has ne ever done so, that you know, so here's the thing you're right park was that <laughs> At face value, it would it would appear that that is what Kanye is doing. But I do believe that motive is really important, right? And if you were to interrogate Kanye's motive, I think you'll find that he's not doing this for black people. Oh, okay. And so let me tell you why I say that. Kanye, early in his career... It seemed like he really was for black people. He were even you spoke remember out black push. Yeah, does, he's like Bush yeah, doesn't, doesn't care about, about black, black people. people. Yeah, yeah. Right? but he's he subsequently said things for me that make me doubt whether or not he's truly for black people or if he's just trying to push a narrative that will further his own agenda. Slavery even was a within, choice. Yes, even within this debacle, right? You hear Kanye talking about well, actually. For me, I view myself as a white man. A uh, Jewish. You know what I mean? Uh, and when he says that, he's not speaking about race. He's speaking about the position in the social system, mm -hmm. right? And um, you can see how proud he was to have been a billionaire, you know? Because that's really what it's about for him. It's just about the ultimate power. And Kanye will coddle up to anybody and any system that will help him progress. And then as soon as that system, for example, no longer serves his immediate needs, mm. then he'll trash talk it. Right? So when he came out, all of a sudden, the record industry was the greatest thing, yada, 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 because they were allowing him to produce hits for Jay-Z. Um, and obviously, he was getting out his music. That's why he, lab he named his label Getting Out Our Dreams. Right? Once the music tap started drying out because Drake uh, became the number one artist in the world, then all of a sudden he started resenting the music industry as a whole and it turned out that he had a bad contract. Then he was trying to pivot over to fashion. Fashion. Right? 
within fashion, he was disrespecting the people who helped him get on in music. Sway, for example, very great example, you know? Sway was the guy that, when I first saw an interview, Kanye, Sway conducted that interview mm. on MTV, oh. mm. right? But because he felt like he was not trying to get into music, he didn't feel like he needed Sway's Sway influence anymore. in any way, shut him down. You know what I mean? Uh, and then that's how he moves. When he felt like he was more powerful than Jay-Z, what happened? He was going out there, he was the first guy to say, I'm the richest black man in history. Whereas before that, he was talking about, this is my big brother, mm. respect this guy, oh, do that. Yeah. So for me, I don't like people that move like that. Yeah. I, I like consistency. And it's funny, out of all the guys you mentioned, the guy that I like is actually 50 Cent. Oh, shit. Yeah. 50 Cent, as imperfect as he is, 50 Cent is very, very, very uh, consistent. And loyal. You've yeah. met him before, ne? Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. And I, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's based on what I know of him. I've only chilled a little bit with the guy, interviewed him or whatever. But just from my observation, the guy works on a standard code and I can respect that code. I used to love Diddy as well. But as I've grown older, I've realized, dude, see, also Diddy, for me, is an opportunist. Yeah, he's a scam. Ah, Diddy's not the one, bro. Yeah, he's an opportunist. Uh, I want to move on. Can, can I move on, guys? Is it fine? Or am I cutting him off? <laughs> can I ask the next question? Ah, don't do that. <laughs> now, you see, now we... I'm not going to say, ah, I'm going to chill here. What a scenario. You know what we should do? We should run a poll. Is it fine to move on to the next segment? <laughs> vote. Vote here. <laughs> <laughs> it's democratic now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody is 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 disappointed with the ANC man. Where do you think they got it wrong, man? Do you think it's it literally Cyril's fault, or what's going on? From your eyes, no, it's not Cyril's fault. Cyril's a part of the fault, but it's definitely not his fault only. Mm. Okay, let me. I gotta peel this off, right? Yeah, they're not sponsoring us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The water, yeah. Mm. But come on, guys. What's below zero anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Even if we put them out. <laughs> Who put him out? Nobody would know to buy this. <laughs> hey, nobody would know to buy this. Hey, man, they're gonna be like Caesar's drinking, you know. Anyway, um, if we're being honest, the NC's problem started in 1985. Sure, you're taking it back. Whoa, yeah. damn. Hi. So, um, the NC was still stationed in Lusaka in Zambia. Um, Obviously, Oliver Tambo had grown the organization to what it is now. The Brains Trust, very smart guy. And business in South Africa realized that the whole apartheid regime was no longer sustainable and that in a while there would need to be a transition of power. Mm. So the guys from Anglo-America specifically uh, set a meeting uh, with o Oliver Tambo via... Uh, Kenneth Kaunda. And in that meeting, they discussed what the transitional power would be like, and they asked that the ANC obviously allow big business to carry on working. Mm. Now, you got to look at this, right? Anglo America, British American tobacco, all the big companies were either funded by the US, the UK, or a combination of both. We are essentially a project, mm. you know? And that's, it's not, it's not unique to us. It's every country in Africa. Mm. Rhodesia, the same thing. I think we spoke about this in the last time I was mm. here on the show. And obviously but but, but the DRC, China, China's infiltrating now. Yeah, DRC and all of those things. So you, the thing is, you can't create capital out of nothing, right? So even if you do have a good idea, if you come to me and I give you the seed capital, you are beholden to me. Of course, yes, you yes, know? yes, yes, yes. That's really when the NC got captured. Huh. It was difficult to know back then what the consequences of those actions and whatever they agreed on would be. But I think we see it now. But someone else will say that how they're running the country, I mean, capture it, captured aside. It's got nothing to do with the fact that they captured them, the corruption, stealing of funds, nothing works. Traffic lights don't work. There's crime. There's no employment. It's got nothing to do with being captured, though. No, 100%. But I'm answering the question that he asked because he asked, is it Cyril's fault? And I think it's very disingenuous to then just place it all as Cyril's fault. No, back you can't. Because it didn't begin with him. Mm, mm. Um, but yes, you're 100% But still, correct. that's being the captured. Guys also it's not the, the root of our problems, at our everyday problems. It's just governance problems. No, it is, though. It is the root of our problems. 
Huh. Because you see, corruption only thrives when people have a need to rapidly enrich themselves. Hmm. Right? Uh, so if you are adequately taken care of, and I come to you and I go, Yo, Caesar, please do this thing for me. I'll give you each ocho. I'm going to need your ocho. Mm. Try to do my job. Mm. Mm. Right? But the problem is, Wongu Mundu Lambil. Hey, and hey, what has happened with politics, it has just become a fast track to riches. Huh. You know? Whereas ideally what politics should be, it should be a fast track to leadership. So the people who are capable of leadership, because leaders are born, right? Not everybody among us is a leader. Some people display leadership capabilities, and those are people in a meritocracy who should rise to the top because they are the ones that should be leading society, right? Mm-hmm. Now it doesn't work that way. People just want to get into politics because they know I will use this apparatus as a means to access capital and enrich myself. So that's essentially what it is. Having said that, though, you're right. People could have done better in leadership over the last 37 years. There's no doubt about it, 100%. Next year, what are we doing? Who are you voting for? Me. It depends. Um, I feel very strongly about representation in our country. I feel very strongly about the people that end up leading our country, right? And this doesn't have to be a racial thing, but unfortunately politics in our country just happens to go down along racial lines, right? I wouldn't mind the ANC losing power provided that the person we're going to or the party we're going to is better and they will take care of the people, right? But... I also am very wary of people that just say anybody but the ANC because that's not a plan. Mm. So the ANC is in this quagmire largely because they weren't ready to govern. What did you say, quagmire? Yeah. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they, they weren't ready to govern. They thought they were. You know what I mean? They thought they were, but you can see now what they weren't. And I don't see any other party that has demonstrated ability to lead. Now, somebody will say the EFF. The EFF definitely knows what their constituency needs, 100%. They know what the majority of black people need, 100%. Mm-hmm. But they haven't demonstrated to me that they're capable of leadership in the way that the country needs. And I'll, I'll give you a small example. In the metros, the coalition governments, those things are mm-hmm. collapsing. Mm-hmm. Ah, those things are not working. Uh, right? Left, right, Whether you're talking right. about Nelson Mandela Bay, you're talking about Tekorule, right now, yeah. about Tswane, yeah. you know, it's just, it's a mess. Mm. Um, and so I still feel like the vehicle, which is the ANC, provided that it could be gutted and rebuilt properly, is still maybe our best shot and our best option. For real? But we don't have yeah. the time. Provided, 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 <sighs> provided that we get the right leaders in place. Now, that's a very tall order, though. Because once an organization is that big and it's been infiltrated to that extent, it's very, very difficult to change the Bro, culture when you, of the organization. You, you, you interview politicians. When you speak to these guys, yeah. are they? do they get what you're saying right now? Do they get the people's Some cries? do, yeah, some do. They don't, uh, or they don't give a fuck, bro. No, 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 some do. Like, for example, if you speak to Julius, he knows exactly what the country needs. No. You speak to Musi Maimani, he knows exactly what the country needs, right? Uh, you speak to even Tawambeg, actually. Mm. He knows exactly what the country needs. But knowing what the country needs, that's the easy part. Come on, you know what the country needs. Yeah. Everybody Even does. I know what the country needs. Yeah. I've got the, the yeah. solutions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's delivering that. Mm. Implementing. Yes. And the problem is it's a human problem. Because you may go into an organization with nothing but the best intentions, but everybody around you doesn't feel the same way that Shit. you do. Then you fuck. It's not enough to just have a good leader. Mm. You literally need 200 other Mac The Gs. whole system mm. needs yeah. to be uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. in unison, aligned. Yeah. So I can't tell you who but, to vote for. That's really on you. But I, I, I feel, obviously, it's, I'm speculating, I, but I feel whoever takes over, let's say the NC does lose power, they're not going to get there and just pillage resources and fill and steal because they only have one term and they're going to try and impress as much as possible. So I feel like EFF, DA, they will do a great job because they only they will, they will think we only have this one term. Then people will sober up and be like, ah, we're going back to default settings, A and C. So let me tell you something. Lack of service delivery, theft, and pilferage 
Those are just some of the failures of government. But that's by no means everything. Mm. If you look at Cyril, for example, mm -hmm. right? In his personal capacity, I have got no evidence that shows me that this guy has stolen anything. Mm. But if you were to rank him, according to his presidency and his performance, he is oh. by far the worst. Bad, yeah. Mm. Do you see what I mean? Mm. You can even say Msholozi was better because Msholozi was at least trying to do something. Mm, mm, mm. Now, yes, there's a lot of scandals, far from perfect tenure there, but at least the guy was trying to take some decisions. Where did Cyril get it wrong? Oh, man, I can't tell you. I'm not part of his team. But for me, he's just, he's indecisive. It, let's also not lie. He's had a very difficult period to preside over. COVID. COVID, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the economy generally, globally, is a mess. You see, everybody's walking out. I can see the numbers going down, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you asked me the question. <laughs> I hey, was you him at. You know what, what are you talking about? I was, out here. I was just trying to regulate your grandeur intake. This nigga's actually asking me the question. <laughs> By the way, you notice how he's drinking less? I'm a good influence on this nigga. Keep it 100. I respect you too much. You know? You're like, well, my mother, I can't get drunk show. in front of you. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, so... What do you think about Patrice? Uh, uh, he's running for president. Yeah, there's a branch. Um, yeah, the NC is going to have the conference now. Elect he's not running. They said they They've, nominated they him. They've put him forward. What do you think about that? Put if he's him smart, forward. he's not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, if he's smart, he's not going to do that. He doesn't have the same thing struggle as credentials. It's he, not he even won't about make struggle it. credentials. He won't make it. Yeah, the branches. He's not strong at the branches. It's the same thing with Ukwabini. Do you remember Ukwabini? So Ukwabini Sarazelo. Sarazelo, who's... Saga. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Mac already agreed. <laughs> I don't no, know I'm what right. Please help yeah. us. What does it mean? Yeah. Please help us. Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> How? Yeah, anyway, you've got me in the Saga Zungu. Saga Zungu. Right? Oh, okay. Saga yeah. Zungu. <laughs> Saga Zungu. So, uh, in case it end, uh, you remember, Ruti, they wanted to nominate Zungu uh, as the chairman. And then he went, he went to the, the, the thingy, the conference. They nominated him from the floor. And he just decided, he's like, no, man, guys, he read the tea leaves. He's like, I, I declined the nomination. Honorable thing to smart, do. Smart, <laughs> right? Very, very smart. smart thing the to guy's do, a yeah. billionaire. Mm. He owns Amazulu. He owns a mine. He owns so many other businesses. What's he doing, actually? Mm. Trying to get into KZN politics, yeah. you know? And uh, I think Patrice would just be the same thing. He would just decline the nomination. Yeah. yeah. What's happening with Glencoe? I saw a Glencoe story. Yeah, they've mm. been transporting money. Hey. Um, uh, sending money out. Shall I uh, read it out? Let me read it Yeah, read it out. You've got the facts. Uh, Glencoe <laughs> moved money bags with private chase across Africa <laughs> to bribe government officials. Uh, prosecutors from the wow. UK lifted the lid on how Glencoe moved uh, bribe money in African continent with private chase to bribe government officials. It was reported that the company pleaded guilty to seven counts of bribery and had set aside 7.2 billion rands to pay fines for their corrupt deeds. It is reported that the company paid some of 550 million rands in bribes to gain access to oil cargoes. Glencoe was also mentioned to have played a crucial role of corruption in the recently concluded Zondo State Capture Inquiry about ESCOM with government officials. Mm. Yep. True and story. You know, yeah, true story. That thing happens even now. And you know who's in business with Glencoe in our country, right? Sir. Yeah. Various other people included too. Yeah, so I mean, look guys. The minerals business, the mining business is a dirty business. So is that why Cyril also has like just cash chilling in his... I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why. Was I it part of the money that's being moved in these private jets? Well, what they're saying is the source of that cash was game sale. That's what they're saying. Right? And, and Cyril is also oh. in... That's what they're saying. And Cyril is also in farming of, you know, livestock. He's in livestock. Yeah. Oh. So that's what they say. Mm. But, I mean, you know, anything that requires movement of minerals, guys. And this is where the EFF was 100% correct. Maybe we didn't understand it when they first said mines should be nationalized. But it's highly and grossly unfair for somebody to enrich themselves using natural resources. You know what I mean? A guy like Bill Gates, when you say Bill Gates is rich, I can understand it, you know. The guy literally bought DOS, created Microsoft. Mm, he created, mm. something, created something, and that's fine. Yeah. For me, if I just go and extract a mineral from the ground, 
then I sell it to somebody and I enrich myself. I didn't create that. Mm. This ground belongs to all of us. Mm. You know what I mean? You can't I just happen to have the capital yes, to go out there and extract yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. That's really unfair. Mm. Mm. So mm. you'd never get into the, the minerals business? I am in that business. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, but, yeah. but you, then you're getting rich off of minerals yeah. that belong to the earth. Of course. <laughs> Life is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're in farming, so which minerals are you also in? Um, oh yeah, shit, you're in farming. We're yeah. in the energy space. We're in the energy space. You're in the timber space as well, right? The yeah. wood space. Which, which yeah. farm did you show on, on, on he does forestry media. as well? Which one? Uh, a while back, he showed you walking around your farm. Was it in Joburg or the one in KZN? I don't know which one. Was I, what was I walking around saying, doing? No, you were just walking around and there were a lot of trees there. Yeah, forest trees. Okay, that wasn't KZN, yeah. That wasn't KZN, yeah. yeah. If it was like a lot of timber trees, it wasn't KZN. What you busy with now? So, you you farming? What else? You Property? What else? Yeah, just general stuff. <laughs> who, who, just who, general buys, stuff. who buys wood, man? Who buys timber? Who, who are you supplying with? Seppi, Mondi. Oh, the paper, paper guys. Paper. In the paper fact, guys. my next door neighbor. And Kesha. Kesha my, ne- buys my, ne- my next door neighbor. Who buys timber? That's funny. <laughs> Uh, I missed that one. Who buys them? Yeah, Kesha. watch the show. Kesha. <laughs> Who's Kesha? So, <laughs> it's a high felt thing. It's so a nine four seven. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, then no one gets he ne- it. He never, yeah, yeah. He, he never got to that level of radio. <laughs> <laughs> what level of radio, please? What level of radio is nine four seven? What level of radio is our? The elite one. <laughs> no, <laughs> please. You need one. At the beginning of the show, you called Man. it the trenches. No, no, no. You called it high felt the trenches. Oh. Yo, yeah, no, listen, trenches. no, listen, let me tell you. It was the he, trenches. Wait, let's be honest. Graveyard. He was in the trenches. <laughs> I was on three stations at once. I was the only guy in the country who was doing that. I was on a different contract. Wow. I was premium, my dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> we were not the same. <laughs> we were not the same. I was on 702, <laughs> Cape Talk, and 947. Yeah. All at once. Yeah. Even in that building, I was the only yeah. person. Yeah. You remember in team meetings? Yeah. Who the CEO asked for opinions? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. yeah. No, he was writing shit. No, Thanks. he's not lying. No, for real. Yeah. Damn. Actually, it's this way. Maybe he fired you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he fired you. That's what I think of it. Actually, he was making decisions. Actually, no, then. funny enough, Matt got fired after I left. Uh, I'd walk into Ravi's oh, so office and there's Ravi sucking Caesar's dick. No. Uh, no. Yeah, wait, you know Ravi's no. gonna watch this. Uh, and he's calling you every week. Those calls are gonna stop now. <laughs> oh, you, so you speak to Ravi every week? Uh, that's my boy, man. That's my you think he's the only one who's getting back on radio? Yeah. 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 Song, song this year alone has bought a car, <laughs> got a new apartment. <laughs> what a what you, th- you, you think Mac G's not watching these moves and going, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's learning from the best. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, wait, nah. They think, yeah, song's going to be coming with his own uh, g- gin as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, coming. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, shit, man. No, before you ask, I wanted to ask, Cesar, when you left 702, I was under the impression that you're going to study it. Didn't you say something like that? So did you? No, uh, I'd already been studying when I was 702. Mm. Yeah. When I left, I was actually going to leave the country. So how oh, far? Oh yes, you, you told me. Yeah, yeah. How far have you been with your? Uh, have you gone with your studies? No, we. I mean, I did uh, my BCom law at Wits. Um, I never did articles. So oh. yeah. why didn't you I leave was, the country, bro? Hmm. Long story. So the deal that we had lined up didn't come through in the way that we wanted it. Mm. Yeah. So. One of those. Bro, would you do a podcast, bro? I think mm. people would love your podcast. Oh man. yeah, bro, I'd, I'd definitely check that. Yeah. Shit in a out. different, yeah, in a different life. Not now. Why? I haven't got time for it now. Why? Now? Yeah. Why would I want to do a podcast? Man? Bro, you should once a week. Come on now. But why? Tell me why. Because I, I think like you have a lot of great views and people want to hear that. Yeah. That's not a reason enough to do that, guys. It's like when people say you should write a book. Let me put it this way: everything I know, I read from a book. Why should I write a book? Just regurgitate stuff. Yeah, just go read that book that I that I read, and that's oh. it. Yeah, there's so many podcasts out there. Why do you need one more? Because there's no podcast with your views. <sighs> I'm fine. Eh? I'll just tweet my views. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His Twitter handle is a, is a, is a, it podcast. Is a podcast. I will tell you this: I could do a podcast mm-hmm. if I had to. I don't know if it would be successful, but I think it wouldn't suck. Mm. Yeah. I just haven't got the time for it. Mm. Neither do I have a desire to right now. Wouldn't suck as much as Ravi. 
Wow. <laughs> oh, eh, eh. <laughs> you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him this clip. <laughs> I was like, yo, here's your boy, you see? He's like, yeah, you're right, dog. He hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Anyway, Ghost Lady, what you got for us, man? What you got for no, us? I wanted to actually pick up um, uh, the Black Panther movie. Oh, yeah! Oh, Wakanda Forever. Yes. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you continue, uh, Gamun Pella's yes, on the soundtrack. Yes, that's what I want to talk about. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to yeah. talk about oh, that. Out, I want to pick yes. them up. Yeah, just shout out to... Pick them up, pick yeah. them up. Yeah, those, there's two tracks on the on that. Um, Sinom Solo, Gamun Pella, Busiswa. Devin Coco as well. Yes. Young Stana, Young Stana. Young Stana as well. Don't forget Young Stana. Young Stana also. Are you fucking with piano, bro? Because I know you're a hip-hop DJ. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I love. So for me, I love what Kaza Small is doing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and uh, Goat, Goat. Goat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, Goat. Goat. Is that King album that he piano. dropped is the best album this year. This one, yeah, Goa, Goa is amazing. Yeah, wow. it's the best album. Have you heard it? Yeah, yeah. For me, that's the one with Kusela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Goa. It's so it's piano. so spiritual and uh, so well produced. I kind of hoped. Because at the same time that he dropped, right, uh, Coffee had dropped that project that he worked on I with them. Um, I got a story with, with Drake, about that. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I kind of hope that they all collaborated because it's so rich. We like, said the, it. Yeah, we like said the, the, the Gamza stuff is so musically we rich. Said it. We said and it. it's so worldly that I think Drake would have benefited from, from, from getting that kind of creative input. Thank you we know? said it. Oh. We said it. If Drake. Knew that the piano's popping, he should have went to a piano producer. Mm. Mm. Bro, by the coffee, way, I don't mean this any disrespect to Nati because oh, Nati definitely. obviously mm. does great stuff as he's well. He's amazing. Yeah. Bro, we we're, we're on the way from a gig uh, somewhere far, so we were driving. Limpopo, I think. Yeah, and yeah. then Drake dropped that album. So we listened to all of it, like all 20 tracks. Were, okay, I don't yeah, know. That was like 20 it just sounds minutes. like one long track, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, right? bro. And then straight no after that, oh. so like we're all just listening. Like this. And you're right, Cubs had dropped the album same time. Mm. And then when Drake's songs were done, we switched over to Cubs. Oh. And the first track we played was Kusela and the mood changed wow. in the car. Wow. Like like you could feel like you're like, whoa. Yeah. But if you, even if you listen to the lyrics, right? Because he's working with really great writers. You know, Omsaki, Derek, even the lyrics, man, they're amazing. Mm. Um yeah, it's just it's a sublime piece of work. And how that guy works. He doesn't work with you just because, like, you're a star or you big. There needs to be a connection when you guys get in the studio. And when he feels it, then he'll roll. Mm. You know, and for me, I picked it up. It's very, very spiritual. I don't even think it's him. I think it's Amad Lozi. Yeah. Like, his music is spiritual. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Have you seen? Comes has got like, he punches you. Ah, see, 20. See, 20. 20. What's going on here? Hey, whoa. Shit, it's my birthday. Oh, hey. It's your birthday. What the hell? Hey. It's your birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday. Hey. How old is this guy turning? Yeah, 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 Yo, so still yes, like you, man. Sus. Yay. Hey, Which so one likes what? Hey, you know hey, who's this? I still like women. Yes, I, I'll who never stop like a woman, bro. Nale. Yo, woman planned this. Yeah. I'm, hey, ladies, come in. Come, uh, come, in. come, come. What did the lady? Right. Come show us what the lady show said you must do. Hey, yeah, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Yo, play. Play what, continue what song, though. Play? There's a song. There's a there's a stripper song, Barihana. That's there's a no. We're one. gonna get flagged. Play continue then. Oh yeah, we yeah, got. <laughs> oh, we'll get flagged. Electro mode will flag you. No, no, no. They will take it off. Don't worry. Oh. I'll tell them. <laughs> they'll tell them not to flag us. <laughs> come, come, my, my sister. <laughs> what Don't worry. Now, now, lady will pay. Just uh, yeah. do the things there. Yeah, yeah. Play the song there. Wow, man. Have you ever seen such Caesar? <laughs> That's right, you know. I can't say I have. <laughs> Play, play, play. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this is crazy. Hey, now, lady, man. Hey. I thought this was Colin Ferger when she walked in, eh? <laughs> she, yeah, you look, yeah, yeah. You guys look uh, together, you and her. Are you winning with the song, then? Hey, man. She got the color pants. Mm? Oh, iTunes is loading. I can play it from here. Give me the... Jesus Christ. Give me the thing. Oh, my <laughs> word. What's huh? going on here? Ladies. Wow, ladies. Huh? Ladies. <laughs> Come down there, Kai. And hey, you got a cool wife. <laughs> now, lady organizes. So, what are you, ladies? Strippers? Yep. Oh, wow. Now, lady organizes these strippers. Ah, oh, wow. Hey, my guy was. Hey, what's the music? <laughs> 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 
these guys. Ah, these some guy killing. today, bro. You're dropping the ball. Ah, they're killing us, these guys. That is oh, funny. Right. Man, jeez, what is this? <laughs> Now I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play the music, bro. So ah. you're saying Cyril. Yeah. How did he fuck up? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Let's talk about Cyril, man. You know? That is funny. Hey. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, you know he likes women too, eh? Cyril. Yeah. Hey. Cyril. Hey. Haven't you guys seen? How, where do you think the name Cupcake comes from? Oh, yeah. I heard about oh. that. Oh. Okay. Where does it come from, Cupcake? No. You were speaking to um one of... Shout out to the lady, man. Mm. <laughs> so you're saying DA? Mm. <laughs> that is funny. It's treason. It's treason. Sorry. Oh shit! I forgot it's my birthday today, man. Yeah. Oh, thank you, ladies. Oh, uh, 35. 35. Damn, I didn't even realize. No, yeah. you know what? You know what? My lady said. Happy Apparently, birthday, man. you feel Happy 36. Birthday, bro. So that's why she had to get balloons. It's 30 plus six, but there's five. And then there's one because you feel. Yeah, I thought I was 36 this whole year, man. <laughs> Damn, you're pretty old. What do yeah, you mean? No, you, <laughs> you thought you were. <laughs> you thought you were 36. How, how do you think you're 36? Hey, man, man, hey, man. Because I you're deceiving. Counting. I stopped counting long ago, man. He's pretty oh. old, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how old are you? Same, same age. Yeah. Same age. Yeah. The yeah. oldest yeah. people here are 35. The oldest people, yeah. So that was okay. dope. You could never do that at Kaya, right? No, you, you wouldn't want to. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> It's a professional establishment. <laughs> Take my nigga, my nigga. Why? I'm serious. Yeah. Since when is a focused man? Have you ever been to the strip club, bro? Yeah, I don't like strip clubs. Why? The whole thing is pointless. Ah, What do you mean? Hey, okay, 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 okay. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. So, like your woman, when she does this for you, you like stop it. This is pointless. <laughs> no, but that's my woman. <laughs> but so what's pointless about it, though? I mean, with no disrespect to the ladies, but I don't find those ladies attractive, right? Mm. Okay, so there's nothing attractive about that. So I'm just like, okay, cool. But they doing their thing. That's cool. <laughs> you don't find them attractive based on what they do for a living? No, I don't care what they do for a living. Just them. As uh, they're not appealing. No. So if the right woman is appealing, you would be entertained and you would be engaged. Yeah, I would, of course. But ah. I would need to go to a strip club for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, so here's that. another thing. You won't understand this, but What women have liked me since I was like a baby. Yeah. I've never had a What problem. do you mean, man? My mom liked me when I was a baby. <laughs> That's a problem. It's only your mom. What do you mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, man. so I, I don't What have is, a problem like getting a woman's attention. Yeah. Um, and luckily for me, if I like What? a woman, chances are I'll be fine. Why don't you want to tell us you're headless? Come on, dog. You've never yeah. told anybody. But I feel like you've got a, a short one. Like, cause 
of the kind of guy you are. Not because ladies don't like you, but because you don't throw yourself at any lady oh, who likes you. Oh, you don't know his hit list. <laughs> <laughs> you just asked for his hit list. Uh, no, I want him to oh, say oh. his story. I get it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I could come on the podcast and tell you who sees a no. smash. You know what the thing is? That's oh, the problem. He's got a you look one. at it. The thing is, you look at it ah. as a hit list. It's not a hit list, Mac. What is it? What is it? It's people I've been in relationships with. <laughs> All right, cool. Let me tell you. Let so me you tell you. Wait, wait. So you don't <laughs> wait, wait. So you don't smash unless it's a relationship situation. No, I don't do that. You, so you've never had like one night stand, or or not even a one night stand, but a a, a situation where a situation ship. Yeah, I've had situationships, but it's a relationship. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, but it's a relationship. Yeah, with uh, yes, with less rules or limitation than that. So. That was just that was how I did relationships when I was younger. Nah, man, there's there was some, nothing else. There's something weird about Caesar, dog. There's something you're not telling us, dog. Tell this me. guy's too clean. He's too clean. He's the cleanest guy in the industry. That's funny. You know, in five years' time, he's gonna come out. He's hey, a pedophile. He's or gonna something. be documentary. <laughs> <laughs> surviving. He's surviving. <laughs> in the farm. In the farm. In the forest. They will <laughs> dig up all those trees and find shit. No, and, dog. Yeah. I love you, dog. But there's no way you can be this clean. It's impossible. No, no, no. It's I Possible, Actually, bro. I'd love. Okay, since we, I'd like you to m- maybe speak on about what you know. How there's this tendency, like okay, men, all men would like this. Obviously, just strippers. This is what men. I'm not, don't don't get me wrong. I don't hate this. Yeah, it's just that does nothing for me. <laughs> and there are other men who probably feel the same way. Oh, definitely. And a lot of and, other and men. By the not way, just I'm few. not saying. I'm not saying when I see a naked woman, I don't get aroused. There mm. are certain women. That would get me aroused. Mm. No, that's yeah. Like I, those that's are preference. the ones. I get. Yes, mm. I get. It. It's like remember when we the lady. The, the, oh, the, the, girl, the, they look like she got like stab wounds <laughs> on her leg. Yeah, I see what you, you know mean. What I mean? <laughs> ah, come on, B. No, it was. It's yeah. not me. No, no, I get what you mean. That's I get what you mean. I get. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's not my thing. No, no, no. I get that. Vera, you can't just get naked. Just the, get horny because it's just a woman naked. Yeah. No, no, that I get. And I saw that also. <laughs> But I've got a tolerance, so that's we fine know. With me. No, but I'm we've saying. known you since why? Uh, hey, You've been man. wild. Hey man, you went to a BB, the Big Brother Africa house, and did some wild things. <laughs> but Cesar, you can't, you Caesar, can't be that hey, clean. Don't want to see. He's not clean. Cool clean. Cool you clean. You're clean. Here's the thing. You clean. It's not clean, right? You just call it clean. Or you just have standards. You just have morals or whatever. You I wouldn't call it standards. It's just how I was raised. So, do you like girls licking your toes? No. I mean, I don't mind. It feels good. It's like, it tickles. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not going to stop you. Jeez. But that's about it. So here's the thing. Listen. Yeah. And we've had this discussion, you and I. Yeah. I grew up in a household where we weren't even allowed to call, like, I wasn't allowed to call my sister stupid. Okay. Mm. Like, if I said, for example, you're stupid, that yeah. is considered a swear word. Mm. Yeah. Much less get a swear word. Mm, mm. You know? Mm. And then there's just a way that you speak to people, there's a way that you you behave. And I've always um I've always taken that with me wherever I go. I don't even use foul language to be quite honest. Generally mm. it's just not who I am. Yeah. And it's not because I think I'm better than anybody. I'm definitely not perfect. You call it clean, I'm not clean. I've got my shitty ways about me, whatever. Mm. But um these aren't the things for me. Mm. Yeah. So if ever you hear a story, it's like that time when uh <laughs> They said I uh, abused my gay lover. Do you remember Sunday oh, Sunday? Yeah. Was it Sunday Sunday? Ah, that was, was, was yeah. we knew it. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly that's it. bullshit. That's exactly we it. So knew. I didn't even need to say anything. We knew that. But people that knew me were like, ah, oh, that's not that's smart. Yeah. And that's gay. for me. That's how I like to live my life, where my reputation precedes me, and then you know what. Bro, when was the last time you were mad? I've never seen you mad, eh? No, I get mad. Do you know you hear that uh, clip of Unati? He sounded oh, mad. Oh, Unati! Ooh, that clip, he sounded mad. Oh, yeah. oh shout out to him. Hey, 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 you are gone. You are canceled, dog. You are canceled, dog. But then why are you shouting me out there? Because you were like, smart enough to, <laughs> to know. Yes, my no. ah, He was gone. He was gone. Yeah, yeah without, without that audio, bro. I was, no, I wasn't mad. So uh, it's not like I was shouting. But I no, was, you weren't, but you could but, tell. That wasn't yeah, season. So I get stern. That's what I get. I get very stern because... The thing about me is I'm very playful, but I don't like it when people start with me. Yeah. And yeah. if you do start with me, then fine. Yeah, then I'll take it to the end. Mm. So that's really it. Mm. Generally, I stay out of everybody's business. Hey, man, what happened with the Unati thing, bro? Yeah, shit, you've never spoken about that. Yeah, there's a reason, right? Yeah? 
I tweeted about it. You heard what happened. I, I was the one who posted those clips. Mm. I was the one. Yeah. It's not like they leaked. Yeah. yeah. But of course, I mean, your character was being questioned and attacked. You had to. Yeah. Especially because you, you... And also, I think she pushed you because you said, I've got evidence. Stop. It's not that she pushed me. I just, like I said, I don't like it when people lie. I can always disprove a lie very easily. Yeah, man. You are you, are you okay you... now with her? Have you guys spoken after the incident? No. Why are we going to speak? No, no just as grown-ups to be like... I've got no reason to speak to her. And I don't get that because... Where it started, you said, I think uh, you were like, ah, I've got an opinion. Let me hold it to myself. And then she was like, no, no, no. You're like, no, it's going to hurt. You're like, she was like, nah, say it. And you said it and then it started a whole thing. There was obviously more to it than that, you know. In hindsight, I think maybe she was irritated about something else. Because I can't mm. believe that that would be the whole thing. I don't know what it is. But no, to answer your question, I've, um, we've never spoken since then. I've got no desire to either get grand danger. Mm. So prior to that, as now you're saying it didn't start with that she can't cook umpa or whatever. She warms it up. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, she warms it up or something. <laughs> you, you like it was a way of preparing umpu to namasi. Like no, she warms man, it said, up. I said, I said amasi. If you if you pay umpa umpu for amasi, you don't add salt. Ghost ladies from KZN. Yeah. So she will not. Yeah, fella, you don't. That's what I it's said. And she was true like, story. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah. with milk, you add salt, yeah, not a mask. Like, yeah, true story, like, oh, ghost. Adds salt. Oh, and then you were like, oh, maybe. The, and then he said, he, he said, he said. Then he said, oh, I was, okay, I won't say this. And then she said, no, I'll say it. And then she was like, oh, maybe that's why your, your marriage didn't end it. <laughs> And then she took it. She, it hit, you know. Yeah. She caught feelings yeah. when so, she said she wouldn't. Look, so there's also, I can't speak for her, right? I don't know. Sometimes there are things that irritate people and they don't speak about them. Other times there are things that people do and then in hindsight they realize they need a reason to justify their actions. Mm. And then they'll just pluck something out of, of the ether and yeah. use that. So it could have been that. But there's no way for me that comment should have led to that. Yeah. Because every step of the way I was like, no, don't do this. Mm. Even if she's like, I'm going to go to HR and say, it's like, don't do that. I've got witnesses. Mm. Anyway, she chose her route. Now that's where it is. So prior to that, you guys were cool or were there always tensions? Mm. No, as far as I know, we're cool. Ah, Caesar doesn't, that's why I'm asking you when was the last time he's mad. He doesn't fight with anyone, does no, he? No, he's a professional. Yeah. Caesar's always Another been thing about me, I stick to myself. Yeah. yeah. You know? So, um, I'm cool with you if you're cool with me. But if you're also if you're not cool with me, I'm also cool with that. Oh man, you gotta you gotta tell people the story about how you got into like interviews and stuff, like what you used to do to be so good at interviews and stuff. Which story? Where you used to research, man, 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 man. You know that story. Tell me. Uh, we used to. Hey man, can I get a knife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want some. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we used right? to research it- sway and used oh, to watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Tato, yeah. thank you. Oh, yeah, that story. So, yeah, when I first got to MTV, right, I was like the first VJ in Africa at MTV. So there's a guy named Dylan Khan. Dylan Khan used to produce a show called The Lick with Trevor Nelson. Mm. And um, when this show of ours was happening, Dylan Khan flew down to South Africa. So I was working with him. There was also a guy named Tim Horwood. I was working with him. Oh, Tim, yeah. 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 He's married to so, Zulim Kiza's daughter now, yeah? yeah. And Who? then Whose daughter? Zulim Kiza's daughter. Oh, She's dope. a Sangoma. Tim Hold is married to her. Mm. Dope. And then uh, there was a guy named Sway. It was like a lot of people. Swayed, rather. Mm. Oh, Swayed, so the first American. Thing, yeah, so the first thing that they did, they sent me DVDs of like The Lick, Trevor Nelson, Sway Calloway. And, um, and then Dylan said, Caesar, don't look at yourself as a presenter consider yourself a music journalist moving forward, mm. you know? Mm. Uh, so, okay, cool. So one of the first things I did, literally for my very first show, you know, we used to work together at Red Pepper, mm. is I got into production. So like the very first show I ever shot on TV, I wrote my own script and all that stuff, dope. you know, just to, to see how things work. And then obviously that grew to on cake, man. Di- I've had already. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it grew to like creating, creative Make directing, the Samas, that whole thing, you know? Mm. Um, oh, you killed the summers. Yeah, oh, thanks, yeah. man. So hey, you had a good run, dog. There was a year like where Caesar was everywhere, man. Eh, not just a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had a bro, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Speaking of your run, why did you stop DJing? Um, I got into serious business. Mm. 
So how I got into DJing was when I started at Y, people would obviously hear us on air. And people assume when they hear you on air that you can DJ. Mm. So they'd call the office and they'd want a book. Mm. Then I'd be like, no, I don't DJ. Yeah, because at Y, everyone was a DJ. Yeah, yeah, then they'd be disappointed. Then this happened for like a full year. Yeah, I remember. Then at yeah. the end of that year, I was like, okay, I'm going to DJ now. Mm. So I went to learn how to DJ, uh, bought equipment. And then I announced on Twitter, I was like, hey, I'm going to DJ. The following weekend, I had a gig. Mm. Yeah. I remember, and uh, yeah. I didn't even know what rates to use. I was like, hmm. They're like, how much do you charge? 20,000. I was like, hmm, 7,500? Yeah. Then they paid it. Yeah. That was back then. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then, obviously, like, you know, because I had a profile, I was like, I ended up charging quite a bit. Mm. Uh, the most you made from a gig? Hmm. Ah, uh, gigs that I used to throw. Oh, come on! Yes, Do you remember like yes. New Year's Eve gigs? I sometimes book you sometimes. Oh yeah, what happened yeah. to your New Year's Eve gigs, man? They yeah, were I don't dope. Do that. Look, I I'm not gonna lie, man. I made a lot of money from gigs. Yeah, I made a lot of money from live. I can point to different things that I bought with different things. You know, yeah. like there's two properties I bought from the live gig alone. Mm. You know, I still have those properties. Um, oh. There's buildings that I bought from just gigs alone. You know, so buildings. Yeah, commercial buildings. Mm. Mm. Where? Where are your buildings? DJ Clay, uh, is this you? You know, <laughs> where, where you around? I got, I got, I got things. Not that dress, but damn, how, how many stories? <laughs> 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 hey man, man, go commercial building. <laughs> this is probably renting out to government. <laughs> who, who your tenants? Government? <laughs> this is no, uh, government is actually not reliable as a tenant. You don't want to rent to government. Bro, you. how much you worth, bro? Nah, not a lot. More than hundred mil. Nah, not a lot. Mm. More than hundred mil though. <laughs> I forgot the lot. billionaire who said like if you're really that rich oh yeah it was uh, Christo Vici like like if you, you know if you know how much you would then you're not rich probably not uh, worth Christo Vici I'm nowhere close that. to those guys by the way just don't yeah oh, no, no, I know, no, I know no, how these things come are, on Christo Vici sex filing season now <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> they're gonna be like holding this video up like hey no 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 alright yeah. cool before we move on eh? yeah. uh, let's talk about cause you've inter- please just give us a list of the people you've interviewed mum we need to give Mandela. I remember that. Mm. Yeah. Who I else? can't give you a list. It's like quite long. Um, no, I just give us some of the big names. Come on now. Mandela. Michelle you, Obama. Michelle. You did Michelle. Yeah. Wow, bro. Uh, mm. Bill Gates. You did Bill. Jesus yeah. Christ. Bill Gates. Um, this is all MTV. Yeah. Damn. 50 Cent. Uh, all those guys that were big in that time. Basically, anybody that was big from 2005 onwards, I got to interview. That's massive. You know what I mean? Like I, dude, I was like, I was on red carpets and like at EMAs, VMAs, the works. Damn. Jay-Z spent like a full day with him. With Beyonce. Jay-Z? Yeah, yeah. And Beyonce? Oh, you met yeah. Jay-Z, bro. Yeah. And Beyonce? Yeah. How was Beyonce? She looks like uh, Antonia Gokas, you know? No, Beyonce. what do you mean? Donna. Donna. Uh, girl no, from the hood. No, oh, yeah, from Beyonce is beautiful. Huh? She's beautiful. She's yeah, she's she... beautiful, but she's got a gussy vibe to her, bro. No, she doesn't. Beyonce. No, for real. You can tell Beyonce grew up going to private schools in America. How was she, bro? She's not from the hood. She's very, very kind. She said I was good looking. Hey. That's good. And I thought that was a kind thing to say from Beyonce. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, no wonder these strippers didn't do anything to you. Miss Beyonce. <laughs> oh, <don't. laughs> I <laughs> uh, met Rihanna as well, but there was like young Rihanna upon the replay Rihanna. Yeah, oh. and uh, and it was different then. Then she for me, I looked at her like I looked at these strippers. Yeah, and then later on when she became a woman, I was like, damn, actually Rihanna's quite hot. Yeah, and now that she's a mom, I'm like, okay, Rihanna's a mom. Yeah, you know? oh. so you know they go through phases like that. But um, Lil Wayne. Have I interviewed Lil Wayne? No. Eminem? No. Wow. And Eminem was my favorite. In fact, when I used to have like a, a profile, my profile used to end by saying, yo, one day I like, I, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Damn, but I think, you know, man. the timeline didn't work. Fuck, Caesar, you Who's your best? Yeah, like the Caesar. best? Best interview? Yeah. There's different ones for different reasons. Yeah. In entertainment, Wycliffe Jean. Oh. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. He's, um, I don't know what the word is. He's very generous mm. with an interview. So with every other interview I had to do, I'd have to be, 
strategic yeah. about getting the the guests to open up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. With Wyclef, it was like we were friends from the first time. Oh man. Mm. And so that, much so that like, I, I got the guy's number. Mm. You know what I mean? Wow. Like he's the guy like, "Yo man, take my number down." And uh, and would meet like in other places. He'd be like he'd invite me on stage, on stage, take me to after parties. He's that sort of guy. He's very very generous, wow. and um, and he's very aware of what was happening. I remember this one time I saw him at the EMAs on the red carpet, and Lucky Dube just passed away. Mm. So do the interview, do the interview. At the end, he's like, "Yo, man, by the way, rest in peace to my man, Lucky Dube." Oh, just yeah. unprompted, you know. Wow. He's, he's that guy. Oh, bro. Uh, and then there was a time elections in Zim. When Morgan Changurai was still alive, mm. right? Mm. And Morgan Changurai had been beaten by the Zanu PF guys, oh, yeah. and so he wasn't hiding, and he came to South Africa. And the guys in New York reached out to us and said, "Yo, man, we've got an opportunity to interview Morgan Changurai. He's in hiding in South Africa. Can you guys do it and then share the footage with us?" That's another thing that happens because it's a network, it's a global network. Mm. Mm. So I went to go do that interview with Morgan Changurai, and. For the first time, I felt like I was doing grown-up TV because mm. all along I just been doing, yeah, TV, yeah, 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 you know, and um, and that interview was used by Gideon Yago in the wow. US MTV News, you know, so just things like that. I'd, 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 I'd always like stuff like that, and from that idea, we started doing base meets, so you know. Did interviews with Ali Kotangote, Richard Branson. Richard Branson. Yeah, man. Um, Fuck, you know, season. Ellen Johnson, yeah. Sir Lee, Barack Obama, all of those things. Um, what do you think is the secret to to an interview from all the? Got to be conversational. If it's a Q and A, you're already failing. Mm. All it is is just strike a conversation with people, and people don't realize the interview isn't about you. Yeah, you are just a conduit for the listener or the viewer. Mm. It's not about your interest. Niggas start talking about you, about this and this. Isn't it? We don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> you know I mean? was there also. Yeah, we and don't care about you. Let me tell you something. You know what I mean? We just trying like, to. Oh. You just there to extract the information for the people that you serve. Mm. That's it. That's really it. Um, and research? Do you do your own research? Yeah, yeah, I do my own research. I luckily for me, I like I'm pretty erudite, so I kind of know a little bit about something before I sit down and, and, and speak to a person. Mm. But also generally, I always say, I say this to my team all the time. You could wake me up, Mina, five minutes before a show starts and just turn on the mic. I'll probably have something to say. Mm. I don't know if it'll be a good show, but it definitely won't be a bad show. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. Uh, and I learned that one of two ways. One, when I used to work with Scoop, sometimes I'd rock up in the morning and he wouldn't be at work. And I would have prepped a show for two people, mm. and I'd have to do a show as Alone. myself. Yeah, mm. and that takes a great amount of discipline. But eventually, you learn. And then, when I got to talk radio, because talk radio, once you turn on the mic, it's on until quarter past, where you go to a net break, and then it's on again until half past. Mm. Mm. Even if your phone lines go down, even if the SMS line doesn't work, you gotta, you gotta be able. You can't just go. Okay, I'm out of things to say now. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I would with, love with, it because with music, I would radio, love to hear that. <laughs> with music radio, with music radio, you can play a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, oh, yeah. Sometimes you talk radio, they'll tell you, "Look, colony's down." So if colony's down, you can't get SMSs, you can't get any of the other stuff, tweets, and then maybe phone lines are down too. Mm. You gotta roll. Mm. You gotta be able to speak for three hours straight, and people are gonna be listening and be like, "Yeah, actually, I, uh, yeah, I'm entertained." But I love that man with you and my blay. I loved my blay, man. Yeah, your blessing. Yeah, my yeah, blay was dope on seven hundred two. Yeah, hey, shout, shout, out, shout out to Google, by the way. Oh yeah, and Google. Hey, well. Google. Hey, it's been a while. She's yeah. still on seven hundred two. She's still on seven hundred two. She is. Oh, oh is she? Oh, yeah, she. Man. She, uh, she does stand-ins and fills in sometimes. <laughs> when um, who was pregnant? Somebody was pregnant and gone. And uh, Google did that show for like three months. She's what currently else? in Durban now. What else you got, what Ghost Lady? week, guys. Um, the passing of Takeoff. Oh, yeah. I, and I'm also, a die. Oh, yeah. guys. Yes. yes. And Davido's where, where were you where, where, when you heard that? The Takeoff. Ah, just. I saw him trending before going to bed or something. Just woke up. It was just. It wasn't a special, like, you know, just. Oh, Takeoff passed away. I just woke up or something. And then I was like, oh, just before the show. Like, oh. And when I heard that story, I'm like, SA might not be so bad, man. Like, you know, we always think America's safe and shit like that. 
But but that can happen in SA. Any random celebrity can get shot in the hood. No, in up SA, to no good. In SA, oh yeah. Have you ever heard a story like that in SA? My police survived the shooting. They were shooting at his car the other Sense time. Remember, mm. since yeah. Mayua got shot randomly in the hood. Oh yeah, true. But what Mac is saying is that guns aren't as prevalent, especially yeah. shootings not in South enough. Africa yeah. aren't fair as prevalent. Enough. But yeah. that was not like hey a man, I need to have you, 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 can, you in my head, ne? Yeah. you in my brain. Ne? I need my to younger brother. <laughs> yeah, so you know. I know no, exactly how he thinks. <laughs> no, but even when, uh, sometimes so I watch the show, sometimes I watch the show, right? And then Mac articulates his thoughts in the Mac way, which is like a Kanye West way. And I'm like, no, man. That's not what you want to say. Yeah, and then, like, lo and behold, now the streets are having him. Now he's trending a week. But the another time, the the people, people are suing him. Like, nah, I know what you're trying to say. Like, yeah. But Mac, you shouldn't have said it like that. There's but no, you get what I'm Mac trying to say. Yeah. No, but his shooting was not an American problem of like, this is random trigger happy people. Yeah. Guns are easily accessible. Even if guns weren't easily accessible, he was playing dice with gang bangers and people who, okay, he was and Quavo was, but they were really dangerous people there. They were just in a but place. Those, those people were his friends, allegedly. Mm. Nah, not his friends. And also, nah. dog. He, they were, oh, hey! Uh, also, Mr. Dog, Rimby. Uh, 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 at what last point did you go Kokazi and there's a nigga there just carrying a gun? For no reason. Uh, you see, when I go to Kokas, there is someone carrying a gun. If you're in Sanyama for two minutes, you've ordered your food via a call, you're going to get and bounce or eat. 30 minutes bounce. There's always someone with a gun in the hood. Let's be honest. It's not that prevalent though, man, in SA. Oh, uh, but, but you see, there it was not like it's a school kid with a gun. Those were dudes, vele vele. Street dudes. Those are street dudes. Yeah, I think checker. guys had no business being around that kind of uh, company environment. Yeah, uh, environment and company. Yeah. And you, you're asking for trouble anywhere in the world. If Caesar now rocks up with his with his S class in the hood and Galama Daisy with very dangerous people, something breaks out. There's someone who saw him like, "Le, pretty boy, rich. He thinks he's gonna come and tell us shit." And the very very bang, I'm turned as a figure. He just needs a reason to shoot. Hey, bro, do you go to the hood, bro? Mm. Yeah, sometimes. But like, I'm not the sort of guy who's gonna. Go. I don't know anybody in Soweto, for example, just go chill there. Yeah. So no. But uh, if I'm in case it ain't, I got some cousins, oh, some him so yeah. I'll go there. But no, generally, I'm the sort of guy who sticks to himself a lot. Mm. So I won't just go hang. Yeah. Uh, I'll go if there's a purpose. If he told me to go somewhere, so I'll go there. I got no problem. You, because I'm comfortable there. Car, I'll, yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll rock up. If I yeah. Have you had no yeah. talk? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, okay. of and then what about those um, chicken feet? Yeah, the chicken feet. Chicken feet, yeah, I'm all done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I used to... Uh, I used to own a business in Yeovil. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, I used to own a business oh, in Yeovil. I, I, I know. Uh, it's, it's like, is it Yeovil or Hillbro? Just between Hillbro and Peria. Yeah, it was in I, I know. Corner, corner of Courts and Banquets. Yeah? Yeah, Courts and... Yeah, I know. Yeah. What is the business? Spot. A butchery. A butchery. Oh, for real? So we yeah. sell them out to Anam Rojo and all that. <laughs> Not you, Cesar. <season>. Yeah. <laughs> Back when I used to work at Y, even. I think I was like 22. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah fair checker. Um, there have been eyewitnesses who've stated that there's a possibility that Takeoff wasn't playing um, dice. He was just about, um, passing by and got shot by stray bullets. No, no, he was with he was with Quavo. Quavo was the one who had a dice. Quavo, Obviously, Quavo, Quavo, Quavo. Is it Quavo? Quavo, yeah. Oh, Quavo. this guy is a house DJ. Quavo, <laughs> <laughs> Quavo, I fed to Quavo, man. <laughs> hey, Don't Quavo. be fooled. Don't be fooled by the soul you see on podcasting shit. <laughs> Guys, been making house music since back. Kyle, I'm going to be is walking aimlessly on the street. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, house videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? The fedora, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, hey, Quavo, Quavo, man. Quavo was playing on my dice. Um, Ganoak is accompanying him, just chilling. And then something, uh, con uh, 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 a disagreement uh, broke up, broke out, and guns... Hey man, but then crazy. I don't think it was a straight bullet because I'm shy in the head mm. no, and then man, the torso. So here's what happened. You're right. They were all there as friends, right? Yeah. So some people are closer to the other people than others, right? So essentially, it's Jazz and then it's Junior. Jazz Prince Junior. J Prince. Yeah, J Prince Junior, who's like J Prince's son. <laughs> uh, okay. And then obviously, J Prince wasn't there because he's an OG. Mm -hmm. Now, they've got this thing in America where you get to... 
the same if you go into LA, you got to check in with the gangsters in LA. Mm. Just tell them I'm around and they'll protect you. Mm. So the guys went to Houston, they checked in with Mob Ties mm. in Houston. What's Mob Ties? I keep hearing Mob Ties is like, yeah, it's, it's Jazz Prince's people, essentially. Damn. Right? Um, and there's even videos of them earlier on celebrating, like, yo, it's going to be a great night. And there's a gat right here, sitting as guys, like, sitting with the gats on the seats in the, the car. Um, and they're just rolling around, right? So you can see that these guys are all familiar with each other. They know each other. Mm. Quavo now obviously starts shooting dice with these guys. And apparently they're wrecking his pockets. Huh. So he's losing. He lost like maybe $7,000, right? And then an argument ensued. I don't know how. And again, to according to reports... Or Offsets was literally standing there in the distance. Wasn't even partaking in the game. Wasn't mm, arguing with anybody. Mm, mm. Take off, you mean? Yeah. Take I mean, sorry. Uh, take, take off, off right? Yes. Um, he's busy not even arguing with anybody. And then somebody, once Ukwevo was busy arguing with the people, one of Quavo's people got up, pulled out a gun huh. for some reason, and started shooting randomly. Jeez. Quavo's people. Then, yeah. Then that guy accidentally shot Ulukuz to oh. take off. But Check if you look one at the of video, people. yeah, oh it's friendly fire. Is what they say. If you look at the friendly. video, though, because that's just what, that's that's what the text said. If you look at the video, it looks like Quavo got punched first. Then it looks like Takeoff went towards the altercation because that's his uncle. Mm, you know, mm, it's like if I'm with you and you get punched, mm, then I move forward to be like, "Yo, what's going on?" Mm, and as he was going there, then he got shot. Eesh. That's what it looks like. But how many bullets? Because to I me... I have no idea. They say it looks like two shots. The, the one guy says the first shot hit him, then he went down, then the other shot hit him in the head again. Hmm. There's a, somewhere between the head and the neck. It's all speculative. It's just what people are saying. You know, I don't know if it's uh, an eyewitness account. I don't bro, know. Bro, how's America, dog? Is, are they selling us a dream, bro? In what way? Like, America looks like, you know, Hollywood, the glitz and glam... But with social media, you start to see things that they don't show us. Like, fuck, man. It's like every other country. You can go to Camps Bay. That's glitz and glam. Then you can go to Comora. You know? Inequality is the issue in the world. Anywhere, in fact. Mm. Mm. How's right? New York? How's New York? have nots. Yeah, New York is what you see in the movies, but you can also have slums in New York. Mm. Right? Miami? Miami is like just like Durban mm. you know it's just a hot Durban <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the, those women in thongs on roller skates is no, a thing yeah, hey. yeah of course <laughs> <laughs> hey. that would never happen in South Africa though. you know that right like I mean no but it depends where you grew up I grew up she will tell you ghost lady in case it ain't guys when the promenade was still the promenade You'd have people walking around on roller skates all the way up and down South Beach. Almost oh, near yeah. the beach. We'd yeah, we do yeah. that. Right. Ghost lady, what else and you got also, for us? Also, um, uh, Davido's son. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Uh, Ifani. Yes. Oh, shame, man. That's no, great. Oh, no, that's, that's uh, So his son passed away, yeah? Yeah, yeah Ifani. Yeah. But he's got like nine house housekeepers or house... Or people, just the staff in yeah, the house. Just, it's, it's How did that stuff. happen? But it happened... The bunch similar thing, even label M. Remember, kid drowns in the pool. It seems like a thing yeah. that happens Let me tell you when you got a pool. I've got a friend who her sister uh, lost a child like that, mm. and it was the mom who was looking after the child at the time. You they mean. say it happens in a matter of seconds. Mm. You know, essentially, because you can't always have your kid, your eye on the kid. Mm. So the kid is with you, and then you like maybe you you turn around, you're you warming up some food. Mm. Then you're like, oh, where's the kid? By the time you get down, the kid's in the pool face down. And that's why pools have nets, though. And pools should have fences if you've got around the pool, especially if you've got a kid. Yeah. And with the banjo as, as, the 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 as an indoor pool, with Ooh. David O, I don't know. Did, uh, did, uh, have you ever had an experience like that, Ghost Lady, with your child? No. Mm. Like, with drowning, we just do everything just to make sure that it's Because your pool is not, it's not covered. It is. That, that's because my son, when he was grown, like, he, now, now with the new baby, we're going to cover it. Because mm. as Remember, soon as she starts moving... You can also teach your kid how to swim from a very early yes. age. Yes. So with my son, now hey, he was... Says a guy with no kids. <laughs> no, but I mean, I know the theory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, that's it? true, though. That's true. That's true. I also know how yeah. to make it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you teach your children to be water savvy, like just to know, just yeah. they'll know their way around water. Mm. And uh, to shit. Be. Don't oh. you remember there was a video that was trending? It was early this year of a guy who was like very recklessly throwing his baby in a pool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're like, yo, that. what are you doing? That's what you're supposed that. to you're do. Yes, that's how that's you That's what them. simulates the fall. I remember. And then the baby's not scared of the water. They at least know how to just turn over. Turn yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't stop the show or end the show without uh, saying RIP to Jeremy Mansfield, man. Yo, hey. shout out, man. Radio Broadcasting legend. legend. Hey. Oh, man. Shout out. Rest in that peace. Did you ever meet Jeremy oh, Mansfield? Man. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even listen to the show. For real, yeah. the rude awakening. Yeah, I didn't. Was a nice I know, show. Yeah, was I a know show. from a word or two on two. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Colorful yeah. shirts. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But he yeah. was. Uh, you gotta understand. I wasn't in Joburg until 2005. Yeah. yeah. So I was. Uh, I was listening to different radio. That guy made so much money. They used to pay him uh, quarterly. Mm. That's yeah, it's, uh, at, at 947. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Yo. Jeremy Mansfield. He's a Yo. Yeah. Icon. So Anele yeah, icon, tells me. Bro. Uh, sometimes because he was like a dick I'm told yeah, sometimes he'd log into real. his internet banking using like the work computer and then just leave it open <laughs> <laughs> then 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 because you know it expires <laughs> but you can still see how much money he's got there uh, you know what yeah. are the figures what are the figures uh, I don't know, I don't oh, you know. Can, yeah, I don't they paid him quarterly come like on hundreds yeah. of thousands back then I don't know yeah. uh, probably more maybe millions no no hundreds of thousands four million for real yeah, yeah, he did a lot back then though yeah. he worked with Samantha Cowan she's amazing so yeah, yeah Bongani was at, is he still at Radio 2000 Bonganini remember Bonganini Bongani did the traffic man I don't know I didn't listen to the Rude Awakening. Wicked came. Then from you didn't listen yeah, to the Wicked Rude Awakening. Wicked was from Wicked. Wicked. Reverend John. Mm. Reverend yeah, John. and Joffy. I think he's Joffy. He had the dad jokes. And the, ah, you didn't listen to Rude Awakening. Who's your top man? five broadcasters, yeah? <laughs> you didn't listen to <laughs> ah, You know, you didn't listen to Rude <laughs> Awakening. You're messing guy. him up, eh? You know how you feel about broadcasting? Yeah, yeah. I don't have that affinity. Yeah. Um... There's obviously people I respect because I'm like, okay, you do your thing well. So, mm. for example, Fresh does his thing well. Mm. Robert Marawa, Anele. Um, growing up, there was a guy named Kansas City. And I was ah, oh. yeah. yeah, I you know. know Kansas City. Um, and then, I'm trying to think who the TV people were. Kansas was good, man. Vinolia. Vinole oh, was good. Oh, Vimesh. Yeah, Vinole was good. Mm. Yeah. But but having said that, it's not like, they weren't like idols to me. You know, it's just, oh, okay, yeah, they're good. That's it. I didn't mm. I didn't grow up wishing to do a radio show or TV show. That was never my thing. Mm. I'm not, I know when, how you feel about radio. I know yeah. how you feel about radio. I mean, for me, they can end radio tomorrow. I wouldn't care. Damn. Mm. Man, Your story. So it's not passion. You're not passionate about it. You're just I'm passionate about everything that I do. Yeah. But... A good you know how I got my job at Kaya? How? I was sleeping. <laughs> Literally. I came back home early from work <laughs> from this business. Then I was sleeping. Yeah. Then I got a call from Punati. Yeah. Then Punati's like, hey. Uh, Punati got geez. you the job. Yeah, she's, like, she's, she's like, listen, just listen, listen. Oh, listen to me. Listen. The irony. <laughs> she's like, Greg Maloka would like your number. Should I give it to him? Yeah. Then I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Then she gave him. Then he called me like 10 minutes later. Yeah. Then I was like, hey. Uh, what are you doing? Like, I'd like to meet up with you. And yeah. this was when they just announced lockdown. Mm. So lockdown is going to start, I think, like the following week. Yeah. And I was like, well, if we don't meet now, who knows when you're going to meet? So let's go. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's meet up in Rosebank. So I went and I met up with him. It turned out he used to watch our show on Newsroom. And obviously he used to listen to us. And so he was like, yo, man, oh, are she, you yo, done yo, with yo, broadcasting? Yeah. So, so I was like, well, no, not really, but I'm just, you know, I'm doing business, whatever. Yeah. He's like, well, if you'd like to, I'd like you to host Drive on Kaya. Mm. Then I was like, what? He's like, yeah. Then I was like, ah, oh, to be quite honest, I've never listened to your station, so <laughs> let me listen to it. <laughs> and then let me let you know. So the following day, I tuned in. Yeah. Right? yeah. And then they were playing Kaya music back then, like Afropolitan stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, I yeah. texted him. I was like, bro, so if I'm going to do this, I'd like to do a commercial show. Mm. So I'll tell you what kind of music I'd like us to play. Mm. And I'll tell you how much music I think we should play, yada, yada, yada. So he's like, okay, cool. Then I don't hear from him for like three months, maybe, right? Then the next thing I see, he's like, yo, please send me your ID number. Mm. Sends me a text. So I send him my ID number, pew, shoots me a contract. Mm. Then I was like, oh, okay. So I guess this thing is happening then. Mm. Um, and then a month later, the show started. Mm. 947, how did you get that gig? 
Because I, I, I was the oh. first black person they hired. They yeah. opened the floodgates for all the blacks. <laughs> Anele was. Anele was. Did try. Anele was there before you. No, no, no. Anele got her after they got me. She came back. Remember? No, no. He, he was gone. Yeah, it was me, and then they got Tully B, Zama Dube. Dude, Zama Anele Chobe. was there long before you. Zama nah, Z- Z- Anele was Anele, at five. Granted, Anele. Where did you think they came five. from? We started there. Yes, but when, when we were in high from? school, yeah. yo, when we were in high school, but Anele when was they there, decided bro. to go black, sure. so she's they thought about one black nigga. Yeah, she had it. Yeah, so first, anyway, yeah, in high school, <laughs> there's a guy named Tobin, right? <laughs> I know Tobin, Tobin Chappie. Yes. So he used to work with um, right. Mark Gilman. Anyway, when the time was about to end at Y, I let him know that, yo, I'm trying to be out. And at the time, I think... Wait, wait, wait. Before you go there. Yeah. So why? They got rid of you. No. Oh, you the decided. Ended, yeah. Oh, but you guys were doing such a good job, dog. I'll tell you that story later if you want to hear it. Yeah, so I want to hear heard. that, man. So anyway, then I was like, okay, I'm trying to be out. Um, and I think I want to go to five. So at the time, Karen was there. I'd spoken oh, to her, yes. Helen. Yes. Uh, and the head of radio was Randall. And hey, I was Brent. friendly, yeah. And I was friendly with Randall, obviously, through the work that we've been doing with, like, the Summers. You know, I was like, okay. So we're speaking to her, guys. Then Tobin sends me a text. like, look, Ravi Naidu would like your number. I'm like, cool. Ravi calls me, he sets up a meeting. I go and I meet up with him. Same story. He's like, yo, I'm just trying to find out where your head is at. We are Highfeld right now, but we're looking to migrate, call ourselves 947, and we're looking to, you know, target the black demographic, yada, yada, yada. The thing was, the contract said why ended in March, end of March. And the financial year at 947, and Prime Media as a whole, is obviously July to mm. the following June. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, I don't mind. We'll sit it out and then you just let me know when you guys have something, right? So if you remember when I first got to 947, I didn't really have a show. Yeah, no, you didn't. I was just there. Yeah. And then, um, like, whenever they need a stand in, for example, mm. like Tolly B show, I'll just do that. Mm. Or um, whenever Stacey Norman wasn't around. Because mm, I was never that. I was never sick. I was always there. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then when Anneli fell pregnant, then I stood in for her on her yeah. show, right? Yeah. We did that bit. Uh, I think it was like two, three months. And in that time, Terry Falkvane, who was CEO. Terry Falkvane. Yeah, who was CEO of broadcasting. She heard me and then she called me down to her office. So I went down. She's like, okay, cool. I've heard you. What do you think about talk? I was like, huh? What do you mean, bro? Like, I was still DJing in clubs. <laughs> like, I just turned 30. I'm not trying to mess with that. You know? It's so like, I've been doing radio for a long time. And I'm telling you, you should probably consider talk. Wow. Mm. I, then I was like, I, no, you're crazy. Anyway, I go off for like six months. Yeah. Just carry on doing this thing at 947, 947. Then Trevor got his show. Who? Trevor, Trevor Noah. Oh, Trevor no, Noah got no. his show. Only one Trevor, York. come on now. <laughs> so then we go, we help him set up. I'm with him. We're setting up the daily Whoa, show. Whoa, you, you helped him set up the daily show? Yeah, we went there. The whole thing, when the whole thing was starting out. For real? Yeah, I went out there, we just chilled. Did you? We were just discussing how the show should be, yada, yada, yada. So anyway... Doesn't he have time, a team for that? No, obviously he had a team, but he was starting out. Damn. <laughs> that's crazy. So, no, it's not like I was helping him. He's just, just there with the dude. Like, yo, I think the show should be this. We were looking at imaging, literally, the promos. Okay, go with this, that line instead of that. You know, mm. that sort of stuff. Mm. We went to the Bahamas. We were just having a good time. Bahamas. Then, he just hey, it in in there. Yeah, then <laughs> that's Barbados. <laughs> well, that's it's Barbados. <laughs> oh, please, please, excuse me. <laughs> I heard this dude make so many areas also on there. I'm like, and now it's for one. For Pedos, my bad. My bad. Fuck out of here. This vibe. Anyway, so then he was like, he was telling me, he's like, yo, man, I wasn't ready for this thing. John just gave it to me. So mm-hmm. sometimes you just got to do things even though you're not ready. Then I was like, ah, that rang a bell. And then I came back and I spoke to Sierra. I was like, okay, fine. Let's try this like talk thing. And yeah. I think I even told you, remember? Yeah, yeah, the first remember. time. Mm-hmm. So I finished doing the show. On Friday, because I used to do a show before him on Friday. Mm-hmm. I finished doing the show upstairs on Friday, 947. Yeah. Then I was like, yo, I'm going downstairs to go do 702. Uh-huh. Then he was like, what? I was like, yeah. Uh-huh. Then I went downstairs to go do 702, and it was me and Gugu. Uh-huh. And I thought it was like just a trial. Yeah. So we did this thing. And then on your way home, you even called us, remember? Yeah. They're like, yo, I'm listening to you guys. Hey, sounds cool, whatever, whatever. Then the following Monday, I went to Sarah. I was like, okay, yeah, we did your thing, cool. Then she's like, okay, do it again next Friday. Hmm. To see how you feel. Yeah, then I it was did, a Friday thing. Then I, I did it again. Oh, yeah. Then the third week, she's like, okay, 
Now the show's yours. Wow. Then I was like, ah, dude, I I can't do that. She's like, no, no, we'll call it night talk because before that it was called talk at nine. Mm. It was like, Aubrey, we'll call it right? night talk. Yeah, Ish. and it will start Aubrey at eight. Masango. It will start at nine. It will start at eight to eleven, and then you can carry on doing your other stuff. Because like, dude, I DJ in like in gigs. I mm. like I like radio. I like mm. music radio. She's mm. like, okay, Monday to Thursday you can do seven o two and Cape Talk. And then Friday and Saturday you can do nine four seven. Hey, but you guys did Aubrey Duty, man. That Aubrey was a big good, shock, bro. Man. Man. Aubrey and Duty. Aubrey was seasoned. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Aubrey Masango is a seasoned bro- yeah, talk man. broadcaster. And they moved him to midnight. Oh, Let me tell you bro. something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> One hey, thing you man. need to know about radio is I mean every show I've ever taken obviously had somebody who was doing it before them. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same mm. thing even at Kaya. Mm. Yeah, true though. You know That's what I mean? Nature of the game. Mm. I didn't hire myself. Mm. When you get fired, it's not on me. I feel bad for you, but I I can't take that on me. I didn't do Aubrey Dirty. I just told you. I was chilling, dog. But that was true. That don't was you feel like you're wasting space? Because there's niggas like me who like fucking yearn and die hard, die hard for this. I know. And you're like, you're like, ah, that's but whatever. When I, you, I don't feel sorry for you, and I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> you've squandered your own opportunities. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> So I don't feel sorry. <laughs> and why this nigga got fired? You know how difficult it is to get fired, and why? Yeah, my goodness, bro. I could caught watching porn. Bro, I had like terabytes of porn, and bro. I didn't get fired for that, bro. That's you know how really difficult like, it is to get fired, and why? It's very difficult, bro. I, I mean, mean, I can say this shop for shows because now, yeah, I can say this because he's passed now. Chili M, his drug dealers used to rock up to why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why you'd have to pay them off? Like yo, man, just hold this paper. They didn't fire him. <laughs> they just they just paid them all. Yeah, this guy true. got fired. Yeah, he got fired, bro. Twice. Like, you know what I mean, bro? Then, so why is one thing nine four seven got fired? Yeah, you know what I mean. So no, but nine four seven was behaving, dog. I had a kid then, man. Yeah. Uh, do you remember that time, Mac? This is the thing with Mac. Mac live. On air, so at 947, the studios are amazing. There's like two huge TVs, right? You can watch one channel on the left TV, another channel on the right TV, and then there's a TV right behind you, which is like for monitoring things and whatever. Mac is bored. He's doing his show in the evening. Oh, I remember the super Then he's thing. watching football, Sky TV. Mm. <laughs> Something in him tells him, let me call into the show. <laughs> ah, he uses the studio line to call in. <laughs> right? It's a show in the UK. Ah, they take him. Hey, Mac G, you can find this clip on YouTube. <laughs> Mac G gets on air. What does he ask the host? <laughs> you know what he asked? Yeah. I remember uh, what? Fuck Mary or fuck kill? Fuck Mary, yes. <laughs> that. Live on air. Who asked it? Who are the who are the, the, the the ladies in Fuck Mary or Kill? I uh, mm. said, who would you fuck Mary kill between Rooney, Van Persie, and Falcao? Mm. <laughs> you know, so these are sort of things he used to do. It's like just you just you just attracting trouble. I don't know it. So he's finding trouble. So am I am I holding up space? Yeah, maybe. But you would have been fired already. So I would have been back. <laughs> you would have been fired already. So. Uh, anyway, course lady, what do you want to ask Caesar, man? Caesar, oh man. How and then? <laughs> uh, bro, I, we got this one. I'll ask. I have to go him, like, Don't worry. Oh, and around this time, it happens. We know. Which one is this one? Actually, now. I want you to see you without your hat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. How the bug is it? How the bug is it? How the bug is it? Oh, because I'm busy trying to like. You look because you see you see you see how hats what they do to men. Yeah. They make you look young. So and then it's like no, but I want to see how thirty nine. Oh, like are I'm you. still kind of young. I don't mind taking it off. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah. hey. Oh, put it back on. Dog. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, now, you, now you see that he he's he's on 702 he's a 702 kind of man you know <laughs> that's a question yeah that's what i wanted <laughs> that is fine <laughs> that is fine <laughs> love it which one is this one <laughs> You're on uh, the podcast. P- Penduga, Penduga. Bro, what was the plan for your life? Because the whole entertainment thing, we all know how it started. You're accompanying someone for auditions and they're like, Yeah, hey, you you you're a bitch. No, cute. that's not what happened. That's what you that's your story though. That's not my story. You accompanying your sister? No, I didn't say it. My sister was not she was never gonna audition for that. What I said was I was working. So what I studied was computer science. Yes. Oh, you did so computer my, science? Yes. Yeah. So my so sister you know, Java. Can yeah. you do Java? Java. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. So oh, anyway, Java so my sister. Yeah, yeah. So my Program sister. language, we know Java. Yes. So hey? my that's sister. like basic. Hey, that's funny. Hey, what funny it? enough, there's a language called Visual Basic. 
Oh. Yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> so my sister saw the ad because MTV had just come to a continent. Okay. So she saw the ad. She's like, hey, MTV's come to a continent. Wouldn't it be cool if you like auditioned and you could be like the Carson Daly of SA? Because she knew I like music. Mm. Then I was like, oh, okay. So the that's the famous oh, sister. Oh, so you went Kanye. there no. before the line. Kanye is my cousin. That's not my sister. My younger sister. Oh, Kanye is your cousin. Yeah. Oh. So Pilile, my younger sister. Oh, so when you went to and studied IT, what was the plan for your life? To write code, my dude. Jesus like, Christ. I was like, <laughs> I, grew up, I grew up in an era where Bill Gates was the guy. Yeah. I wanted ah, to be. Ah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. You wanted so, to be the Bill Gates. Yeah, yeah. And um, initially, I wanted to become an accountant. And then Mrs. Damn. Hogan, Mrs. Hogan sapped the love out of accounting mm, from me. Mm, mm. So let me tell you this. Like, in grade 10. Bad teachers. Eh? Yeah. In gra- she wasn't bad. We just didn't get along. She wasn't bad. In grade 10. Was it grade 10 or 11? No. In grade 9, my bad. In grade 9. I had like 98 for accounting and 100 for technical drawing. Whoa. Wow. And I was like, ah, technical drawing is boring. Let me go with accounting. I thought I was going to be an accountant. It's myself and NJ. He ended up actually being an accountant. He's like a, he's a CFO now for JSC listed company. Anyway, ah, by grade 11, I was hating accounting. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, ah. Let me. Yeah, that, that's a good question because it feels like entertainment just fell on his lap. Yeah, mm. it did. You know whose yeah, his it story? Did. No, it reminds me almost of like Rob Marawa. Even with him, and I was listening to an interview earlier on. He came and, and, and law. Yes, and I always felt that like w- about Rob. He's not really like a radio guy. He listened to it, but he never really wanted to. He's not a diehard like. Yeah, but he wanted tapes. to do TV though. Yeah, he just he wanted to different. do TV and sports. Oh. Yeah, he, he wants to do TV. Yeah, how he feels about radio is how yeah. he also feels about me now. I, I I thought I was so lucky with the MTV thing that I was like, there's no way this luck persists. I was like, there's no way. I thought after a year, I'm going to lose the job. They're going to cancel the contract because the contract, the initial contract was like a year. I'm like, ah, after a year, they're probably going to like, whatever. Then mm. I'm rolling. But I mean, I was earning pounds. Yes. It was a great contract. So I was like, oh, like uh, at the very least, I'll just make this money and then I'll just take it as like a good start, you know? Hmm. But you see, like you said, whatever you do, you apply yourself. So yeah. also partly, it's not like it's been luck all throughout. Yes, exactly. it's been luck, but mm. you could have no, gotten fired because throughout, you didn't right? care. Luck, luck gets you in. Hard work keeps, keeps you Keeps you there. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Because that, what, that definitely was luck for me to get in. Mm. I can even tell you there was a guy named Richard DeMosi. He was head of talent at MTV at the time. Him and Penny Lebiani. Penny? Penny! Yeah. yeah. And when Richard the saw Penny's- me in the queue... They said he's got the look that we're looking for, right? Uh, and then they fast tracked me to audition. Then I auditioned, and I don't know. I mean, I'd never done TV before, so I imagine the audition must have been popped. Do you think your looks had a part to play? Definitely. Uh, most definitely. Yeah. definitely. Come on, yeah. obviously. Thank yeah. you for saying that because <laughs> somebody else would be like, nah, nigga, I work hard. No, you Duh. know that. Your looks got you, you know, you know that shit. Yeah. You know. Got you through the door. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, man, your parents, are they still alive? Yeah. Both of them? Yes. And how do they feel about you? Your success and everything? Ah, uh, they cool. You know, in my family, man, I'm... We're fortunate to come from a family where a lot of people are already successful in any case. Mm. So, they just... Just like they're proud of my other two sisters, it's just a matter of, hey, man, you've grown up. We're proud of you. That's it. Mm. It's not the the TV oh. and radio thing doesn't really mean much to them. Mm. Um, but yeah. Have you, you made more money anything? than your grandfather? Because you were super... Even your dad. I mean, you come from a line of I business I don't know. People. I mean, my grandfather passed away before I was born. Oh, okay. So, I don't really know how much money he had, but... Um, what did he do? He was in business. <laughs> Hey, Mandela and them would sleep at his place. No way. That's yeah. Funny. For real. Yeah. That Grandfather's place. The kings would come there. That's ANC would come and yeah, t- drink tea from the dining room. You yeah. know that. No, wait, hold on. So, oh, tell that story. That's what the spoon is for. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the silver spoon. The silver spoon. Yeah, the silver spoon. <laughs> That's the silver spoon. You know? <laughs> You're snacking on your puns right now. I have to do everything. Slap on your pants, isn't it? Slap on your pants. Oh man, no. So, Umkulu was friends with Inkosi Albert Lutuli. Um, and 
the struggle, there's multiple layers and tiers to the struggle. It's obviously people that are at the forefront. It's people at the background. It's people that would fund. It's people that would hide others. Um, mm. And very often I'm told by Ubaba and my aunt, Suguti, sometimes they would just say, but they wouldn't see who the person is. Because my grandfather's place was big, so they'd be living maybe in the hut outside or whatever. Ah. They wouldn't know who the person was, but they just knew it was somebody important. Mm. And when they grew older, they realized, you see, it was guys that would come there and they would be in hiding Jeez. before they crossed Ain't the border. Whoa. Yeah, because my grandfather had a car, so in the evening then they would drive out. Hectic. Um, so, yeah. Sure. Do you know some yeah. of the names that would be hiding I mean, in the I mean, it backyard. depends. Like, for example, my grandfather paid for... Various people's studies. Um, he helped him set up law firms. No way. Yeah. yeah, and this is all documented. You can read it in their books. I, I just don't want to mention their names, but yeah. you can find it, you know. Oh, yeah. wow. Um, because that's what it was, really. So you, you, you take part in every way that you can. That's crazy, man. Mm. Wow, this has been a dope. Did I interrupt anyone this episode? No. Uh, are the chillers happy? Are you happy? Hey man, you're still sober, me. you see. You didn't <laughs> ask me. You didn't ask me last week if I'm happy. <laughs> yes, now hold on. Now let me let me let me, let me, let me interview back. you guys. Don't take him back. So let me interview. Let me interview you guys. Aye, aye. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go so ahead. Now, do you ever get touched when he does things like that? Uh, like what? Like what happened last week? No, oh, really. You know, know why? Yeah. You, you know, know why? Because no. to me, he gets drunk as well. It was I just my turn. Yeah, well, you know, I get yeah, drunk, but I don't, don't talk like over him. Don't talk over him. You see, you haven't you see, you I get drunk. I'm going to apologize again. <laughs> you see, the thing is, Mac has done that before. Like, when we speak, and it's like, ah, that's boring, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I think last week, it happened, like, with, with a lot of things. Like, with her, the eat whole thing. And then it was the Steinoff thing. And then it was the, you, you get me? So, last week, it happened a lot. And to me, it was like, oh, it's Mac being Mac. Right, mm. so nah, man. I'm like, ah, okay, because people never complain about it. So, and we do this for people anyway, not for ourselves, for people. So you don't get touched. And remember, this is raw. It depends. Dog. It's it, raw. It, it, like if we're drunk, we're drunk, mm. and we put it up there. Do you and also, get touched? Do you does it? And also, can <laughs> I be honest? <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. And, and also, can I be honest? You know how I, you know how I am, right? I'm 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 a very professional person, right? So. Oh, let me <laughs> Man Okay it was funny for like 30 seconds dog It's enough <laughs> Um We're still on 19 seconds Mom too last week like when Mom too thank you like Hey Max well even last week I read the comments on YouTube Oh you read the comments Hey what cost lady shema you know you know how i am right by yeah. design when i get pissed i can't change so if i get pissed during an episode it will be like that it will be sour for the rest of the episode so i let things just go by so that we can continue with the episode because if i get pissed then It'll, I, I get sour. Oh, yeah. Right? And it'll yeah, take yeah. me a while. I literally won't talk to anyone till yeah. tomorrow. Then I'll be oh. fine. Shit, but this Again. never happened ever before. Yeah, right? that's why I, I don't let things get to me. Even mm. with normal people. Yeah. You know, that's why I'm always this public guy. Because when I get pissed, then it's not nice. No, but I fucked up last week. I watched yeah. back. So yeah, if no, I let I that get up. to me last week, like really get pissed, yeah. the then the FBI, I'd be, I'd just be dejected. Like, I fucking Because yeah, I was Do watching, I was thing. like, fuck, I actually want to hear what JJ. I didn't watch. I didn't watch. I yeah, don't that's watch. a good thing. I had to and watch. And by the way, so while we're here, right, I am, um, you know, I don't like to get sentimental too much, but I'm really proud of you, man. Like, wow. obviously, you know, I know you, you know the conversation yeah, yeah. and the stuff I've been doing. And, uh, yeah, wow, I'm man. glad like you've been able to pick it up and piece it back together oh, like this. Wow, man. And shout out to you, Mac, also for giving them the opportunity. Yeah, suck my dick, cup kiss. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Suck. No, I'm serious. So, suck it. So yeah, you really man. done well. And because it's one thing to build something just for yourself, yeah. mm. and then it's another thing to build that one thing and then other people start to benefit from it. You know? Mm. Yeah, true. And I feel like um, you're obviously like a lot more grown now. 
I can also see like the maturity in you, and uh, I'm glad it you defeated your demons. I did, bro. And you back in the game hard. Hey, Ta-da. round of applause. You know, man. Hey, like for real, for real. You know, I was reading. You know what? I was reading. I was reading some of your old texts. Um, <laughs> yeah, I still, I still got Yeah, him. you strike me like that guy who doesn't delete texts. Yeah, I still got him. So, um, and I remember just going through like you know, like I remember, man. My man's been through a lot. Yeah, and, you know, it's been through a lot. Remember, I, 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 I want to ask you, bro, because when I was at Y and I got fired, you're the only person. By the way, more flavor story. didn't call you. No, he called me to shit on me. Oh, he's like, I told you. Yeah. You were headed down this path, yeah, you piece look, of shit. Yeah, look at look, me. Look at you now. I told you. <laughs> if you want to find out, fuck around. <laughs> and you fucked around, now you found out what I happened. <laughs> Jeez, more flavor. So, he's the only guy, and we're not even close, bro. We're not even close, because I was closer to, 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 to Mo than Caesar. That's Caesar but he's the only guy who called me. He's like, yo, dude, keep your head up. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about this. You're talented. And just keep strong. And that's I appreciate it. Yeah, no, Why good. did you call me, bro? That's Caesar for you. Um, <laughs> Cause you because you needed it. Because I was, yeah, you needed one, the motivation. Yes, 100. One, he needed it. Hmm. But also, you know, my thing is, Mac. Sometimes, because of who I am, I'm very reserved. You may not know how I feel about you, mm. but I always know how I feel about a person, right? Yeah. And I've always been fond of you, and I've always thought you were talented. I don't know if you even remember the first time I met you. It was in Angola. Yeah, MTV, MTV yeah. base, yeah. And then wasn't it Mozambique? No, it was Angola. Uh, Angola with JJ, yeah. remember? And I've yeah, always, yeah. and I've always thought and to uh, myself, you know, you're a good guy. And mm. obviously, I'm slightly older than you, but I've got this view on life, and it's very long term. So I can see things that are happening now, and I realize this, this, it's just bad now. It's not a bad life; it's a bad day, you mm. know. Mm. and very often people don't have that perspective and I could mm. see obviously you were dejected at the time you know mm. um, and I just wanted to let you know don't worry about who, it who, who do you think fine. about that now in the industry like where there's broadcasting music where you can see but you don't have that number to call them and be like yo <sighs> it's not that I don't have the number I can always get any number I want Yeah, but I just sometimes I don't want to emotionally invest so for example MT right mm. MT is immensely talented super talented man in all my years of working in music, I never wanted to get involved with artists for a reason. You know how many artists I've discovered, me personally. And I'll just palm them off and be like, yo, KO signed them, or Slicker, you signed them, or Lemonka, you signed them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Did KO play Sete before he released it for you? Because I know he always plays his songs. That's funny. No, not that one. But yes, he does play me all of his songs. Okay. So, so for me, I wish somebody could help MT to realize the greatness that is in him. Mm. Uh, but it also requires some work on his side because he's got demons that he needs to defeat. Mm. So that's the first thing. I feel like Keenan is going through a resurgence that's much needed. He went through a very, very rough time over the last two years. Mm. And um, <laughs> I was watching uh, everything SA Music. So they're like, yo, man, that Lemonade song bangs. Keenan must be back on drugs. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. But it's laced. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's, it's a very good track. It's a very good track. Wow, laced. Yeah, it's a very good track. I love it. I love it. Um, so that's another person, and then you know. I spoke about Ricky at his memorial um, because with the Ricky one, it's it's more than just situational. You know, it's, I don't know, I've never had depression, but from what I'm told, it's one of those things that you can't really control, you know? Mm. And Ricky's life was so good, man. Holistically, if you look at everything that he had going for him, it's just a pity that in that one moment he felt like he couldn't go through, you know? Mm. Because we were robbed with Ricky. That guy's it's one of those people, man, when you look at him, you're like, if Ricky was still alive. I always think like that, you know? So uh there's a lot, man. There's a lot. I, I, I don't I don't invest in a lot of guys. There's yeah. a lot of guys I just I know from a distance, but I'm not really interested in their lives. Who did you guys get from Scoop that uh, hip hop show you used to do? Who did you on Earth? Whew. Damn. Ginger Trill. Ginger, Ginger Trill, Trill, Naughty, hmm. uh, the guys from Cash Time. 
Uh, Qu- Questa. Questa uh, ah, but Costa was around. Casper. Casper. Casper had already like he was so he was already working with WHP, but the first person who actually played his song was me. Wow. Um, hmm. And obviously, wow. uh, you know, Kusheshe. Yeah. Okay. And wow. even when he was about to sign, he came to speak to us like, "Yo, what do you think? Should I sign this deal?" Yada 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 yada. You know. Dope. And wow. to this day, I remain close to him. Oh, dope, man. Because my thing was when I was at Y, I developed like a full value chain for artists, mm. you know. And Whoa, wow. so I wanted, if you were, let's say, for example, you could rap, yeah, but you couldn't get access to a studio, yeah. I was like, okay, I'll create the full clip for you. Mm. So you can still just come and rap. You don't have access to a studio, but you can come rap here and showcase your talents, right? Mm. Mm. If you'd recorded a demo, but you couldn't get airplay, you're like, okay, Hot 99, I'll put you on that, mm. right? Yes, mm. Hot 99. Yeah. Hey, hot then nine. once oh, you, you once you graduated hot from the Hot 99, 99, I'd literally put you on the playlist because I was part of the music department with Lesiba, oh, right? Yeah. So Lesiba oh, yeah. had his music. He's a veteran. Yes. Oh. Yeah, he started Marocana, working with me, Marocana, yeah. you know? So, and then once you started obviously getting on the playlist, you know, would maybe start you off on like a uh, season scoop on the weekend. Then you get like on the weekday. Mm. I was working at MTV. If you shot a video, we could play oh, that. Dope. You know what I mean? I was working at live. I could get you performances. Oh, Create directors for the summer. I could get you performances there. Damn, a guy bro. like Zagwe, if you ask Zagwe, Zagwe went from a demo to song to playlisting to winning a summer to closing the summers. And that was a year that Elmir and I were creative directors and we we did all that, you know. So you and were the gatekeeper. Hmm. Uh, I wasn't the gatekeeper and I'll tell you why. <laughs> but I, no, but I, I definitely had control of the value chain, yes. Yeah. But I wasn't a gatekeeper because for me, everything was based on merits. And you can ask anybody. Did you ever I, get bribed though? No. Mm. There was no rapper that could bribe me. I had more money than all the rappers. Hey! Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Your so, burn rap was the money. Hey, you know what I, mean? hey. I had a better car than the CEO, Edward. Hey! You know. Oh, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I parked them, you know, my cars were, my cars were better than all of your niggas. Cars. <laughs> hey, what car? Your niggas didn't even have cars. <laughs> He didn't. He was driving his mom's car. You know what I mean? Then he got the mini. <laughs> hey man, it was bad at wife him. Yo, you know what I mean? <laughs> when I was parking there, hey, you but knew. That, but I was driving a Peugeot. <laughs> yeah, 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 I Peugeot. remember the Peugeot. <laughs> yo, Bonang, yo. It was sponsored even. It was like a sponsored car. I remember. Oh, it be- I remember. No, no, it was a partnership. I remember very well. The the the, the drop top one. I remember. Yeah. Bro, you said you, you you're still close with Casper. Do you know why you fired a Spike? Spike was such a lovely guy. Gent, true gent, Spike. Did he tell you why? No, no, no. Casper never There's tell There's a me. reason why. So I can't, I don't like speaking about people's things. If he's not willing to put it out. You Let's know? call Spike. Give us his number. Let's call him. No, he's not going to say that. It's also like this. He says there no. may be an ongoing court case. You know what I mean? That's. Yeah. Yo. He, let them, he said that. I'm so suspecting money is. Yeah, well, I don't know. Because Spike find is find such out. a lovely... Who's people Spike, who know bro? Spike. So Spike was part... I, I don't know if he was part of Bridge Entertainment with with, with, with Tilly. He was his manager, his road manager. Yeah, yeah. And, but his duty was to road manage Casper, but I think he was part of Bridge with Tilly. Been with Casper from day one. Hey, he's on mm. the road, Bridge. <laughs> mm. But one, you see, one of the things... Hey, you know, when hey. I, one of the things when I'm at... And oh, it's actually man, interesting Spike. to bring that up. One of the things that... Spike. Why hip-hop was in dire straits as of late. It's because a lot of the guys that got <laughs> access to those platforms and opportunities then decided that they wanted to be artists themselves. And in my view, you can't be a referee and a player at the same time. Make 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 that make sense? I'm not understanding. So if for example your duty is to push talent, mm. then do that. Mm. Mm. Don't be jealous of talents in any way. Don't feel like you got to block them because they've got a song and you've also got a song coming out. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That's a conflict of interest in my view. And for me, I was very clear. I never wanted to do music. Yeah. And so I was pushing artists wholeheartedly. And I don't even want to be thanked by, for that. I always tell the guys, just enjoy your successes alone for me. Mm. Your success mm. is enough for me. Mm. That's, that's what I do. I try and lend myself to things that I think will be of benefit to others. Even with you when you started your podcast, yeah. the only reason why I came is because I knew the kind of profile I had yeah. and I knew how you'd stand to benefit from yes. it. And you were my dude. Yeah. Shout yeah. out. You know? So you're saying hip hop died because the guys who yeah, in the background wanted to be in the front. Exactly. The guys that were hosting radio shows also had mixtapes out and the, ah. you know what I mean? DJs were releasing songs. Oh, they really had yeah. their own single. So then the DJ is not even playing anybody else's stuff except their own. Yeah, yeah. Well, right? I saw that. I mean, yeah. you'd see live. Exactly. Like, it's happening. So right people there. that are on TV, they're pushing their own clicks and their own labels. Yeah. Once you start doing that, 
it just doesn't give everybody an equal chance of 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 of, uh, of access and success. You're right. We had Zex Bantwini, and he said that's why he started DJing because he realized. Um, you only get booked if you're a DJ and the DJs play their own music. So he's yeah. like, ah, fuck it, let me DJ and play my own music and perform at the same time. Yeah. Mm. The game is obviously full of nepotism like that. And once you get to a point where you're influential enough, you then know, it's okay, I could move this way. It's part of the reason why Kalawa, for example, continues to be so successful because Oskido's so influential, right? And in fact, all the guys from Kalawa are influential. So what they'll do is they'll find somebody who's talented, because it, do, it does begin with the talent. Mm. And then you give the talent the exposure. Then people are like, poof. Mm, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Fuck, man. Remember, I wanted to start a label with you. Remember? I came to you, I'm like, hey, Caesar, let's start a label. And what did I say? He said, nah, dog. This exactly. was after which firing? <laughs> <laughs> Why, oh, 947? <laughs> <laughs> I think Lambele, boy. Yeah, yeah, I can sit down, hey, man. Bro. He like, tried a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Steve, do you though, regret good. anything, though? Have to try your Me? luck, bro. Yeah. Probably the one thing I regret is not having, or not getting married and having kids early. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah. So, my father had me when he was 26. Damn. Mm -hmm. And as part of my grand plan, I always thought, mm, maybe by that age, I'll also have my own kids right I'm not sad about it mm -hmm. because I know what I spent that time doing yeah um, and also I'm not the sort of person to want to force things so in that time I was traveling a lot I do like 36 countries a year before wow. I did radio so there was no time for me to settle down I also had commitment anxiety you know literally you go to a new country there's new people that you meet so I sometimes I feel like well, I missed me opportunity in food. that's funny <laughs> Yeah, but um, don't just meet them. <laughs> no? Meet on. and meet us. <laughs> My nigga, now you get it. <laughs> yeah, and but so. you didn't have someone that prior to your current girl that you were like, "Lang, I lose. I should have married this one." Nah, not really. I mean, there's there's people I could have married. But there's nobody who I feel like I lost out. No, ah, because between, uh, it was just, it was meant to be. It was what it is. Between Bonang, yeah, Sashi Naidu, mm, give me another name, Mithali. Who'd yeah. you marry? Kill fuck. Uh, I wouldn't do any of those things to any one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a cop out, man. <laughs> no, it's. Good I don't know Miss Ali at all. Okay. So you'd, kill her. you'd kill her. Wow. No. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. So, so we kill her. Bodak is a friend yeah, of mine. So, so you'd it? fuck her. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> I wouldn't. You see, I'm not saying any of these things. That's why for me, it's just like, it's, ah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> One of those people, though, I have slept with because obviously I was in a relationship with her. How come you don't kiss and tell, dog? Me, I'm Wait, telling who everybody. Are you in a relationship there? Oh, come on. Sashi Naidu, come on. Everybody oh, for real? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. I don't even know who well, Sashi Naidu is. Well, Google her. Oh, I, Google. I know. Yeah. How come you don't kiss and tell, dog? Me, I'm telling everybody, dog. Nah, it's not. <laughs> Speak your There's off. two reasons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, you know, ever since I was young, like I said, I, I realized that women liked me. And then I also realized why guys brag about women, right? Yeah. It's to boost their ego. Yes. Mm. My ego is very healthy. Uh. I don't need to mention a woman's name for that. And for me... Hey, what are you saying you about just, my ego? It's no, I'm just saying. <laughs> so I always feel like it's, if you know, if you think, like, do you think, do you think I could get so-and-so? And then you think, you say, yeah, that's good enough for me. Wait, wait, say that again. Just the fact that you think I could, then I'm good. Wait, so if I think you can get Mitlali yeah. or, or Mini Tlamini, yeah, that's good for you. Yeah, like so, like mention mention a hot woman that mm -hmm. you like you pine over, whose interest you you, you pine over. Uh, Naledi. Who's Naledi? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> that's his wife. That's Who's Naledi? That's his woman. That's, that's his, woman. Woman. Oh, his woman. The one who ordered the, the strippers. <laughs> who requested them, yeah. Because yeah, if I say any other name, hey, it's huh? <laughs> Marikana. That's my name. <laughs> You're a smart guy. See, you're getting smart now. That's my name. Well done. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, you don't, sometimes you don't need to do things, man, to prove anything. Imagination is more vivid than life. Mm. Imagination is? More vivid than life. Oh, okay. Mm. You know, true. So if, if I go out there and I give you a list of people, that doesn't achieve anything. 
But if I let you imagine the list. Ah. <laughs> Are you running wild? You know what I mean? Little wild. Little wild. Penduga? Yeah, man. No, no, I fast him already. But shout out speaking of kissing and telling your girlfriend for a weekend got married while well, your ex-girlfriend for a weekend got married. Lamise oh. got married to Kulichana. Are they having a baby? They're having a baby. Even. Oh, that was like a wedding. It wasn't like a I'm um, shot to that. No, they're having a baby. Oh, oh is it? Was both guys. It was both. They got married and they have yes. yes. They're pregnant. Oh. So, wait, so it was a shotgun wedding. <laughs> well, oh. I don't know if it was a shotgun wedding. I'm sure they planned it. No, it's no jokes. I mean, that's what it's called. Yeah, no, I'm sure they planned it. Uma like shot up because of spot to see you. It's called a shotgun wedding. Oh, flip. But shout out. Man, well, how did this end up like being with this tone? But shout out to them. It was a compliment and, and a shout out suddenly. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I didn't know that she was with child. But shout out. Shout out to them, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Mary, that looked beautiful. And that's perfect. You see, no tents, not many people. I mean, it looked fancy. It wasn't cheap. But, no, you know, just catered for close people. That's how I want to get married. Not this thing of Valustrate. There's hey, people you don't know. But there's know. nothing wrong with that. But also, you must do that. Yeah, I don't want that. Who are your oh, best man at your wedding? Who are your best man? my best man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably NJ. MJ. Yeah, NJ. NJ. Yeah. We don't know. He's not famous. No? That's exactly it. Yeah, right. That's my oh. true friend. That's my, not oh, that, that's not, the not, one not who's that, the not, CFO to yeah, the company. Not that these people aren't my friends. They're also my true friends. But I've known NJ since 1993. Oh. Damn. Damn. See, that's bro. the thing with me. I got like real friends around yeah, me yeah, and yeah, just yeah. a handful of people. Yeah. I'm not with different crews. You don't see me out there. Mm. My that, people are my people. That crew of yours with Anel and Trevor, is that like real friendship or it's industry friendship? No, that's industry. Nah, it's that's connections. No, nah, yeah, it's real. It sucks. Nah, it's not industry friendship. I don't do, I don't do, I don't do industry. I don't do industry. I don't do industry. I don't do industry. So I can tell you how I met That one is strategic, dog. Yeah, that seems. Nah. One is an exec in advertising. Mm. The other one is. One is a pretty boy. Co- comedian. The other but one runs prime media. But you know how we, how long we met? The other one, Who's that pretty boy? You know how long ago we met? There's only one. You know how long ago we met? Well, there's two. <laughs> so you know how long ago we met? Yeah. So we, um, Trevor, for example, when I started working out, uh, not working out, working at um, at TV, right? Um, he used to do a show at Red Pepper. I mean, sorry, at Urban Brew. Because I used to do some shows um, at Red Pepper during the week and then on weekends we'd do some stuff at Urban Brew. And he would be there too. So we'd hang out quite a lot um, would be chilling with another friend of ours Marvin and Ostula Marvin Cohen yeah. oh Ostula yeah from live yeah so you know we just became friends from there so that was cool Anele I met at five we used to do a co-branded show at five with Nicole Fox ah yes TRO Radio mm. so I met her there and we got on like a house on fire so then we were cool these are just like individual friendships yeah right? Then Kaya, Kaya was actually the first guy on YouTube to ever get featured in South For Africa. Really? Yeah, when, they, when they're still at dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I used to f- watch his channel when I was a subs- subscriber. Oh, so I saw him once. There was something I was emceeing with Kelly Rowland. So Kelly Rowland was in the country. Hey, Amen. So she's here. I'm emceeing this thing. And Kaya's there. And there's obviously like a Q&A. And I call him by name. And he's surprised. But he's sitting next to Kolisa. Kolisa looks at him and he's like, eh? How does this guy know you? Yeah. And I was like, no, no, I know you from whatever. So we went out that night and I introduced myself. And it turned out that he stayed literally like four houses away from me. Oh, wow. So then we became friends with like Play PlayStation or whatever. Mm. Uh, and then one of these days, we all then got together and we met up. Ah. Uh, and then it turned out Anele knew Trevor. And then that's how the friendship began. Poppy was actually part of the crew as well. How do I replace oh. Poppy, man? I'm trying to, how much money must I have to It's get not him? even about money, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Ah, you know, maybe it's just been good fortune that everybody's careers have worked out in the way that they have. But uh, when we when we started off being friends, we were literally in our early twenties, mm. um, and it wasn't anything like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. Trevor used to drive a golf one, a red one. I yeah, remember a beat up one. Yeah. Whoa. So no when, close. Dating, <coughs> when he was dating Salamina. No close to money. You know, Damn. nothing. Like you dated All I knew was that we just got along with this guy. Yeah, he dated no. Salamina. He used Whoa. to pick her up because I remember I worked with Salamina at she Crazy. Fumbled her. <laughs> She's amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Salamina. Yeah. All right, man. We out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you so much, CZ. Ah, CZ Leo, did you fuck? I didn't even make any announcements. Uh, yeah, this weekend is my birthday party, man. Are you coming? I know you never come out, bro. Where is it? Uh, Proper propaganda. propaganda. Drop a hip hop set for us, dog. Pretoria. We taking you out of retirement, dog. You gotta man, drop a set. So is it? Please, you gotta yeah, drop a through. set. People are always trying to get me out of retirement. Okay, how much money you got? Ah, uh, don't worry about the money. No, I I'll bring the cake, the I mean, I see you love the cake. <laughs> no, I'll finish now. I'm good. I had it for free. I'm gonna go to propaganda for that. <laughs> hey, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you like to see him? Oh, definitely, man. He's a dope DJ. Yeah. yeah. So, Cyan Bush. I also, I feel like Cyan Bush. Cyan Bush. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about Cyan Bush? We added her on the lineup. Hey, hey, and it's girl. Yeah. Well, Lele. The, 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 the sales, the tickets were low, so we needed some numbers. She's ah. gonna push tickets. <laughs> How many people are you expecting? Uh, about 800 to 1,000. You can't even get 800 to 1,000 hey, people man, now. Damn, tough. you fell off hard, eh? <laughs> nah, man. man you'll, get, you'll get like We used to do this like, in a, like the night before. We'd announce and then people would be pack, we'd pack up to boom, dude. Hey, man, it's a different time now, talk. It is different, eh? It's, it's a, different a different time, time talk. You got not club anymore, eh? No, you no. got to gotta get promoters now. Promoters are the ones that sell yeah, the tickets. Got, hey, it's got not this, like, yeah, yeah, it's not like before. It's not like before. And, and are they still paying you guys like nice money or no? No, no, no. Because now the DJs will do it for like a grand five, right? What? Other what DJs. Mean? These other DJs. So now, how do nah, you. Nah, 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 nah. No, nah, because nah. it's my birthday, so most of it is favors. Yeah, no, yeah, I get like that. But I'm saying when you free. get booked. Yeah. Like, do you still get like your full rates and all those yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. I got a hit now, so yeah. So when you got a hit song or you, you're popping on a podcast, yeah, they'll pay. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Pori and them, how much are they pay? Are they charging? Hey, they're charging like 200k. Like yeah. yeah. Oh, 200. Yeah. Jeez. Not domestically, though, right? Yeah, this is yeah, domestic. definitely. I think this came out no, due guys, to that thing. It can't be domestic. Yeah. There's no club that can afford to pay that amount oh, of money. So no, no, no. It's, it's dollars and Yeah, it was that thing from Zim. There's no club that can afford to pay that amount of money. Because even though they can afford it, it's just. It's not justified. Yeah, the guys aren't gonna pack it up and so to the points where unless no, you got a sponsor, that's it. No, yeah, but the I clubbing mean, scene has changed, dog. It's up. about promoters right now. Mm. So the girls are the ones that make the money. They're the promoters. The girls are also getting paid like twenty-five grand or something for an appearance. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The hosts. Yeah, the hosts. And DJs get less than that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, you definitely. actually working, and then the person who's just appearing gets more. Yeah. Yeah, because the girls are bringing the ballers who spend who buy the azul, which is like how much at a, in the club the azul now. Mesh. Mesh. So that's lot. why that's why the girls that are inflated. DJs are killing it. Yes, yes. Because they yes. they providing a the service and also they bring in. So 100%. when you see like who look who's Uncle who, Waffle, yes, yeah. So if you went on Twitter right now and said you're doing a party, you know, like how you used to, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, no one would come unless you have promoters. Hmm. It's Damn. a crazy time. See, I got out at the right time then. Mm. <laughs> and to get a door deal now, jeez, that's unheard of. Mm. They'll look Why don't you guys just buy your own venue? Hey. Ish. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? So, hey, if venues, the venues need you to be there. Yeah. You know, you you know venues yeah, know. need you but to you be there. People. And yeah. Think hey. about it. Yeah. Hey, the money, the money in the venue is not in the door. Mm. The money in the venue is at the bar. Yeah, mm. the bar. Mm. Apart from wood, what business are you in now? Because at some point you had like restaurants, scooters, capellos. Every like, what business are you in now? Oh, uh, apart yeah, from the, the, the wood, capello in Fowies. Yeah, Fowies capellos at the bar center, whatever. What is it? Mm. Yeah. He sold yeah. that. He sold. I mean, yeah, he I sold it. And there's any other scooters as well. Scooters, pizza. A few scooters. Yeah. A few scooters. Mm. Yeah. Caesar, what the fuck, man? Caesar, dog. When we were working, I'd literally watch guys in a club earn money and then blow that and money blow in the club. Uh, I would. I mean, I, when I got to a gig, I'd drink water or juice, and then I take all my money home. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd be banking it the following day. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like Simple principles. See, see, see school Simple parties, principles. See the school parties, I'd walk away with like 60 grand at least every night. Yeah. Pay scoop, his cut, just, you know. Mm. So it was it was nice. What business are you into now? I mean a couple of things. Crypto? Right. Are you doing crypto? How? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was in crypto last year with my own money, well, not people's money. Yeah. yeah. You weren't inbox gaming anyone. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Forex. I still got some cryptos still. I need to check my wallets and see. Yeah. But I mean, crypto has been depressed for the last year. Yeah. Yeah. But, but aren't you like a Bitcoin naysayer? I've heard you a lot of times on, 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 I've seen your tweets. It's not that I'm a Bitcoin naysayer, right? What I tell people is, 
don't trust somebody who's gonna come and tell you to invest your money in something that even they don't understand. Uh, but if you yourself want to invest in cryptocurrency, then by all means. In fact, I've done a show on cryptocurrencies. You can find it on YouTube. Because mm. um, I understand, obviously, how that thing works. It's what I studied, right? So just don't trust people that are telling you to give them their money so that... Hey, man, what's up with the score? What happened? I was happened? playing rugby. Oh, what happened? I got tackled into a table. Jeez. Rugby a table? Church. Yeah, it was a church. We were playing rugby. Like but you've in. had that scar ever since you... I've had it since 1997. Yeah, so since we've ever we've known you on TV, yeah. you've always had that scar. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are and you? then here, I got pushed into a wall and I was like five. Oh, oh there's nothing. Damn, there. who there's pushes nothing. a five-year-old into a wall? My <laughs> cousin, Unjawul. <laughs> 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 Sure. Like this pretty looking motherfucker. Yeah, we we'll know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And with, uh, uh, and what's the how how the face there uh, with uh, with pussy? Are you guys still? I don't know. I haven't willing seen to him. lay hands on one another? I think he's laying hands on his wife. Hey! 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 Oh! Hey! You guys read the headline? Vala le show. Did you read the headline? Vala le show. Vala le show. Did you read the headline? Vala le show. Come on, Tim Beggy, man. Vala le show. Ah, Vala le show. Ah, bro, I can't believe you went there, fam. But now, we've seen those actors, man. Oh, we've seen Vala le show. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki, bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistibi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.